Welcome, Avaraxis Precipice, episode three. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we are uh, down Lauren night, but uh, she's on vacation. She had that planned out well before the game, so no problem. But uh, it's just the five of us, which is okay. Uh, and we got we got a great session in store for you tonight. Uh, tonight, let me go and up the churn back to the number it was at. What was it at last time? It was like 13, I think it was? 12. I think so, yeah. 12. Okay, I want to thank you. I, I didn't want to over, over churn Eight. it for you. Uh, yeah, four. Let me go and get that Three. up for everybody. Um, we have Two. some giveaways tonight. Um, we are giving away a uh, uh, a player's bundle from Green Rune and Games tonight, uh, and a uh, sorry, actually, uh, and a Game Master's uh, set tonight. Uh, if we hit our sub goal, which you can see in the lower lower corner here, uh, we will give away a second one. Okay, so uh, pretty uh, pretty good stuff, actually. I'm pretty stoked for it. Uh, tonight let me go ahead and get that set up uh, and in order to enter just type in uh, the word hazard into the chat just hazard and you you get entered uh no problem and uh yeah that should be it uh let me go ahead and get that set up for you guys real quick okay cool should be good oops all right so yeah um and I think that's a good start. So let's go ahead and kind of kick off the, the game. So last we left off, uh, you had gotten access, or actually just gotten access, you got the ship, the Ebenezer Hazard, off the of Tycho Station, and you've been able to um, take it out uh, to 532 Herculina, which is kind of this like route that you guys kind of figured out where this ship has been going, but what it's doing there is unknown. There's no manifest, uh, there's no records of it, just that like it kind of seems to go off there. Uh, and meet up with this one asteroid, uh, and it's done this several times, it looks like, based on the nav logs. Um, your best guess right now is like you think that's where the scientists and the belters have been taken, uh, but you're not sure, and you're not sure what you're going to find there, honestly, or what they're doing there. Uh, you did have a tangle with uh, Vector Security and their guy Haig, uh, and they got kind of pulled off the ship by Fred Johnson, who enabled you to basically steal the, steal the ship. I mean, that's what it really came down to. Um, but now you guys are out on a out there and uh, getting ready to uh, been out for almost a week now. It's about a week trip, but uh, you got on our day. Uh, in the meantime, you guys have been up to activities on the, on the boat, whether that's um, uh, healing up as Wyatt needed to do from his uh, gunshot wound to uh, making some repairs and some modifications, looking around the ship, maybe taking care of some of your business, uh, checking out the ship's uh, capabilities, stuff like that. Um, but in the last day before you guys get there, you figure, let's, you know, try to figure out all the resources and the different materials on the ship. And there's a lot of food on the ship. The ship has enough food for, like, for about, like, it's like you'd have 24 people on the ship for about two months without having to restock. And with just the five of you, it's actually plenty of food. Um, so figuring such, uh, the belters, the uh, former military have all kind of figured out to make a some sort of feast out of whatever they could find, uh, some sort of, you know, make it taste a little bit better with what you can, uh, you can find around the ship. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, where we're at. So you guys are sitting around the the small galley table, uh, chilling out. You guys have managed to unlock all the bedrooms or all the the state rooms. Once again, each one's cleaner than the next. Just nothing in them, nothing indicating anyone's even used the ship or any, like really like living on it at all. So if there are pilots, like you knew they were back on Tycho, they're not staying here when they're not piloting the ship. So. Um, yeah, so uh, what do you guys want to what do you guys want to do? What do you guys been up to for the week? Uh, what do you want to talk about with all that? I only feel a little better after you know having the shit blown out of me. But it was a you know it was a pass through shot. It went through your upper shoulder. It didn't hit any bones. Uh, it was all meat. Um, the auto, one thing you did notice, uh, <laughs> and since you are ex-military, is the auto dock on this ship. It's not a military grade auto dock, but it's pretty damn good. It's not some like belter pirate. Uh, thing it's definitely a, um, a, a a worthy auto dock that would actually uh, could actually do some stuff here. So yeah, I um, I imagine at this table, like at this time, like with the week, I like Jack Ryder is like super chatty, right? Like so, Wyatt was like teaching her how to like use her taser. Um, she would probably have been like hanging out in Myrtle's room, like lounging on her bed, even if she didn't like that, her pockets would be like stuffed full. Like it'd be like crinkly. Like every time she like moved, there'd be like crinkles. Cause she's like kind of like squirreling away, like some uh -huh. of that ship's um, food and things. But I feel like at this like point in time, it would have like moved to the point of like trying to teach these uh, Innes how to, how to like say some good belter lingo, you know? So like 
uh, trying to teach Myrtle, especially like, hey Myrtle, like uh, say Belter like Ashan, which is Belter as fuck. Like just say it, Myrtle. Like just just let, let's see it. Uh, you know, or like uh, donkey balls, like Kulaburo, Kulaburo. Every <laughs> time uh, things were happening, so I feel like that would be some of the the flavor would be. You know, caca pelota, like trying to teach her <laughs> the symbols and, uh, you know, trying just like getting getting her to say that kind of stuff. Uh, so I feel like that would be the um, the texture, at least uh, as far as I can think about. And then I'm also think like since we're almost arriving at this like Herculina place, there'd be, um, you know, some questions about like, what the hell do y'all think that this this is? Um, and and. John, I'm wondering if there's like anything we've found out in the week about like what this yeah, place so, is. So Abby's been like out on the comm station and she's been pinging and putting out search queries um, to Tycho and, and various other places that might know about this. Um, as far as known, uh, so the, the, the place is about 220 kilometers cubed. So it's, it's a, you know, it seems pretty big, um, but it's not spherical. And it does, though, uh, and it, from what the records say, it does not have any spin gravity. Um, so it was just a mining colony as far as everything's known. Uh, it's pretty blocky. Um, and you know that, like, they mined out a lot of it. There's, like, a lot of mine shafts and stuff like that in there. But as far as, like, it being used, it was kind of abandoned. It's, it's off. It's not big enough to use. Uh, spinning it up wasn't worth the money. Um, there's better stations in the belt. Ceres and Eros are much better places than this. Um, so no one really cared about it once they got the material out of it, um, you know, a few decades ago. Um, as far as ownership goes, no one seems to really have a claim on it because no one really cares. Okay. Although you do know that it did have, when the when the um, mining operation was there, there was at least a pair of docks on it. So it does have docking capabilities. But you're not just gonna land on, the, on an asteroid, you would Okay, so it's like we know that we're gonna like hit, some, hit something where somebody's gonna like be like beep beep beep. Who are you all? And we're if gonna have to be able to say yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. So we don't know I'm if like... anybody's manning it, right? Or like at the dock. Yeah, and if, if there are if there is people there, like you don't know who's operating it at all. Like, there's no records of anyone being functional on there. So I, that might be something I'd be like. So what do we say, Abdi? You know, because since I'm the pilot and I'm like in this things, I know Abby's on the cons. Like, so what we say, like, when uh, when I know to to cut and run or to uh, open the guns. I said, uh, I'll say to Jack, hey, we should use uh, some. Do you know any old uh, old codes we used to use uh, for rock uh, rock hopping the fool and fool and dock operators? Oh yeah. Give them some oh yeah. Just a little jumbled uh, code, or I can work something up and then I, I look at everybody as we're eating too since I've been sort of uh, upgrading everybody's weapon I uh, how's everybody's weapon shooting you've been practicing any any adju more adjustments you I need to make everybody's oh, doing I'm good it. mine's great thank you and I love what you did here this little piece of art on here is <laughs> so expressive I really really like it uh Ta Taki, Taki, you're my favorite Earther. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think something's wrong with my Onyx because every time I shoot, it misses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me take a look at the sights again. I'm just kind of like, you know. Yeah, give it over to yeah. give it over. <laughs> Yeah, and so what Onyx did over the over the week was you kind of went through and like set like you had a pair of tasers and you had a pair of pistols. You had your own pistol, you had Wyatt's pistol, and you had the tasers. Uh, one of the tasers you guys found from the uh, the security forces, then also uh, Myrtle, you know, brought her own taser. Uh, <laughs> it was that kind of party. Uh, but you um you went through and actually like were able to like salvage. Uh, particularly items off of the uh, the crates, like the crates themselves, and like the modifying the locks and the hinges, and then we're able to like either kind of rebarrel the um, the firing mechanisms or to redo the sights as you saw fit. Yes, and then during that week, I, I'll just get familiar with the ship's uh, engineering. Everything's probably running good, but I'm it's just sort of- It's a smooth running ship. Uh, yeah. This is not a belter ship. It's, it's older, like it's been around for, it's probably like in its like 15th year of service. Um, but it hasn't been beaten up. If they're only moving, uh, looks like mostly crew and like people around, uh, they're not really pushing the ship hard, overloading it or anything like that too. Um, you okay. do notice though that the, the modifications for the extra, the extra quarters were probably done in the last like five years. They're actually pretty recent. Oh, recent. Okay. Yeah. 
And then besides that, yeah, I'm just listening to uh, Judas Priest while I tinkered with the weapons. I eavesdropped and heard uh, Jackrabbit and Myrtle practice uh, uh, phrases and, and just giggled to myself as I eat curds. And I, and I ate a lot uh, through the whole trip. And then, um, you know, just keeping my eye on the, uh, the dust to make sure he doesn't die. Um, yeah, he, they have an auto dock on the on the ship. There's a there's a small med bay, which is a single location. Um, go ahead and um, let me get a uh, technology check for why, since you're going to be on the thing. So go roll intelligence technology for me if you could. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So you're sitting there on the. Uh, what do you got? What do you got on the drama die? Five. Five. Okay. So you're you're, you're on this you're on this auto dock, and it, it's um. Everyone kind of patched you up and everything with some of the medical supplies on the ship. And the auto dock's doing its, its uh, thing. You notice that the auto dock is actually like, it's it's not like a, it's it's not a military one by any stretch of imagination, but it has a definitely augmented capabilities for uh, diagnostics and specifically um, uh, like, like dialysis type situation where it's trying to like over filter it's like trying to filter out like toxins of blood it's like if you were to like go and like drink like like I don't know say motor oil like Onyx does or something um, you oh, can hook up to this thing and like get it out of your system pretty quick okay, okay. so it seems like it's dealing with like um, either cleansing of radiation uh, or toxins uh, for the for the individual on this is especially that it, it can do basically has a bonus to try to do that stuff versus like it doesn't like it's not the, their med bay is not set up for gunshot wounds and like soldiers and stuff like that so yeah okay once I'm healed up too I kind of want to walk around and see if there's any like suits for us if we need to go out yeah uh, you do find that there is a set of four vac suits okay seem to be in good shape Oh uh, yeah, everything on the ship, like I said, everything on the ship is in good shape. The only thing that's not in good shape are one, the crates that Onyx like dismantled to, to modify the weapons. Two, uh, the door to the first room you guys opened up, and then the door to the torpedo bay is busted because you guys like you know, ripped it open. And there's a, there's a little bit of blood on the floor here and there. Uh, not a lot of it's your guys's. You're, you left your blood on Tycho. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's, that's right. a song, right? I left my blood on Tycho. <laughs> is there a way for us to fix that torpedo bay, the door on it? I mean, yeah, you could you could just rehinge it, and uh, you'd have to replace the door because, like, you guys like ripped it open with a crowbar. I mean, it wasn't like a subtle opening. Put in you know. a work order, Wyatt, and I'll get to it. it. And the door, I mean, the, the torpedo bay works. It's just you can't conceal it, like you like it was concealed. Okay. Yeah. It's not like the like like the, the bays themselves, the torpedo tubes themselves are in fine shape, or the one tube, and there are five torpedoes there as well. Is that all the um, weapons we've seen that we know of on the ship? Um, no... You guys did a pretty extensive search of the ship, which I, I'm not going to have you guys roll for it because you guys were on the thing for seven days. Um, the uh, No, there were no weapons on the ship. Just the torpedoes. Okay. Just the, yeah, as far as weapons that the ship has, I, I thought you meant like if there was like firearms or something like that. No, there's not. There's no, like, I mean... The ship's pretty innocuous, honestly. Like, it feels like someone just like... It feels like a ship that someone sold to a used lot and then like... Uh, refurbished it and brought it to you guys, or gave it to you guys. All right, who's cooking dinner tonight? I'll cook dinner tonight. Oh, yes, Earth of Cuisine is my favorite. So you have a kind of a combination of like some of the harder, like it's not, it's not hard tack, but like the kind of stuff that stays good. Um, the food on the ship is not fancy. It's mostly just meant to keep everyone alive for a long time and stay good without with minimal effort. Um, but you might be able to find a few things here to spice it up somewhere, you know, uh, not like not like crush up a matchbook, but, you know, stuff like that, you know, you can find a few things here that are to fancy yeah. it up. Because I always carry some with me just in case. You never get know. Your, you gotta get your spice weasel out. <laughs> yeah. Him with the spice weasel. Bam! All right, sorry. <laughs> sorry yeah. about that. So I'm kind of taking on uh, doing cooking, you know, here and there. I, you know, everybody's kind of coming and going, but I think it's nice to have at least one sit down. So I'm just kind of going in there and um, I've got my list that I'm working on as I hear, as we, you know, hang out, as we practice um, filter slang <laughs> and practice our stun guns is uh, kind of make a list of some of the things that the crew likes, um, things that make them who they are and make them happy uh, to add it to my list of things that I want to get 
like I want to get some fake candles and some lighting and fuzzy zip slippers and all those <laughs> kind of things just in case we get to keep this ship and I want to make my cabin my own and, and I haven't repaired the lock on it because I want everybody to come by so I'm not upset if, if Jack Rabbit comes and we hang out and talk about our lives or talk about the stars so um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of like your Italian grandma <laughs> <laughs> when I'm feeding you this, you know, this stuff. Uh, your, Italian, your Italian grandma from the moon. All right. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is a big piece of pie. All right. Yeah. So, I, so, I also feel like in that, whenever you're making that list and things, like at one of those moments in time over the week, Jack Rabbit would have been like, uh, do you, in as always, uh, think about things like fuzzy slippers and candles and shit? That's that's a really funny thing to, to want to bring into a sheep. What's that about? Oh, well, yeah, it's just coming from, you know, growing up on Luna. Um, I had lots of comfort, you know, comfortable things to make you comfortable in space. And so once I find a place, you know, uh, once I have a ship, be a part of a crew, I'm going to be able to kind of customize my own space and make it comfortable like my home. So you think we can keep the ship then if you're making that? You think I can keep this? I like flying it. I hope so. Maybe, I don't know. I guess if it figures out what we're going to find here and how it goes. If, if nobody's really using this, maybe Fred <laughs> might let us have it. Or we just take it. You know, Fred Johnson, I don't know if he cared that much about this, this ship. Maybe just a junker to him. Maybe you put your things in it, and then when Fred Johnson come, I say, we can't go. He, she got fuzzy slippers. Yeah, maybe yeah. We, cust- we customize it enough. He don't want it no more. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm fascinated by Myrtle's customizing. So in my in Onyx's brain, I'm like, oh, I start, like, stacking my motorboat, like, oil bottles and, like, trying to do what my decorations in my, my hole would be, which is poor, would be poor. <laughs> <laughs> And it's from no the idea. heart, so that's what's important. <laughs> um, so you guys take some inventory and you guys kind of get to know each other. What, what's something you you want the crew to know about you? Like, what's something you kind of share with them uh, openly? I'll openly admit that uh, I haven't had the best luck as an investigator, and I'm just looking for uh, a new change, better luck better friends that's about it that's I won't go into details of what happened but do, do you tell them that you're from Palace I think you, yeah we I think we've so you said mentioned it. that you're from that you that you uh, you were working on Palace before you came to Tyco looking for more yeah. work or whatnot and then I, I think you've also been pretty open about your service on the MCRN yeah um, okay who else yeah I'm willing to you know I'm happy to talk about you know how much I ate hate the Navy and military and no offense, Wyatt, but, you know. He doesn't uh, take any offense to it. Yeah. <laughs> but I just kind of rail against that and how, you know, it's one of the things that, you know, trying to explain to the folks who, you know, the Belters about how rigid some of this programming of your career and all that stuff is, um, especially with the whole thing about Arthur's being on basic and at Luna, sometimes people think that they're better than the people on the Earth. And there's all these expectations, especially if you come from a family of people who serve. And then you realize it's a scam. Uh, I think uh, Onyx would share how uh, he grew up uh, making guns with a, a uncle or something, you know, while they're junking. And uh, he's always grown up, uh, yeah, sort of... Uh, in the oppression of uh, belters and uh, earthers, and uh, and I, I do talk about how uh, you know belters, we we can, can we can make things more than war and just uh, guns. We can make art, and I that's a big thing for me. Is like built a art, built a culture, uh, and you guys just hear about it, you see it, and it's terrible art that's slowly evolving. But that's uh, <laughs> like my expression. You know, uh, we grow up out here by ourselves, and I I make make something out of nothing. It's not just Earthers and, Mar- and uh, Martians that can do it. So that's kind of like what you know about Onyx. Yeah, uh, and I want to kind of, I want to kind of talk about that. And, you know, it's the uh, you know there is a 
bad perception of belters and life in the belt. And as much as um, I want people to understand what it's like out here, but I also want the belters to understand that there is comfort, uh, that not everything has to be hard, is that you can take time for yourself for, you know, to make your life pretty or exciting and just in some way that's special to you and your your friends and sometimes it's fuzzy slippers <laughs> and yes. then no, um, i'll talk about meeting my wife um and that that's another thing is that if if my family finds out about my wife because you know they're u.n navy you know we've been doing the service for hundreds of years in our family and I would get disowned, lose all my contacts and all my sweet, sweet money if they found out that I was married to a belter. And, our, and then talk about my dreams about, you know, our shop and how I want to be able to, if once I get it going and can start supplying some high-end things, I want to be able to supply some good things also for the belters. It's not just you know, letting belters have the cast off of whatever the inners bring to space. And I think like the that conversation around comfort, you know, like you would have seen kind of Jackrabbit getting a little antsier than normal about that, you know, and she would look at, at Myrtle and, you know, imagine like kind of fork halfway to her mouth with whatever uh, the food that uh, Myrtle has cooked is sort of like, that may be easy for you to say about comfort, Myrtle. Uh, you know that guy Titan, the one that uh, that I saw in all those pictures. Uh, he's my he my baratna, he my brother. There was uh, maybe about twelve of us growing up as kids. Uh, this three of us left. I thought he dead. You wanna know why he died? I thought because he thirsty and he stole some water, so they spaced him. But that's what they told me. So I thought he did this whole time. It's hard to have comfort when that's that's your life is you can't even drink water. Yeah, yeah. you breathed recycled air. I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of like teetering, tottering. But uh, Onyx <laughs> goes, but uh, I like this Myrtle. I make slippers. That's with my art, fuzzy slippers. When, when you when you guys start talking about this stuff, uh, I will say this, Abby gets interested when you start talking about the oppression of belters. Uh, specifically talking about, like, it's kind of weird because she's an earther, but she starts talking about, uh, and you guys have noticed that she does have some, like, not hardcore OPA tattoos, but some tattoos you commonly see on OPA people um, as you guys are hanging out and everything like that, too. And she seems to have a very, her her understanding of the oppression of the belters is much more academic. Uh, she hasn't, it's, she's witnessed a little bit of it here and there, but didn't live through it. Um, but she seems to, like, has read about it was inspired to come out and like try it out uh she does mention too that her girlfriend on series uh claire is uh is a uh, she doesn't come out and say she's opa but she comes out and says like she's a belter with like a very uh definitely definitely can get people ramped up we'll say and every time abby would mention her belter and then myrtle has a belter uh like wife or significant other jack rabbit would be like you watch out for them belt women man that they, they get you they get you i mean we and then she you know you'd notice her just sort of like uh she would have told the story about this like belter woman that she flirted with who like screwed up this race that she um <laughs> wanted to win and so she should just be like it still, do, hit, do, it still hits do you, know? you use the term sling buddy Oh yeah, yeah. This sling, this sling bunny. You know, all the belter women, they just like that sling bunny. And that uh, she's a belter woman. You know, she would have a little bit like, yeah, me too. You watch out for me too. You watch out for me too. You too. You know. All right. So you guys kind of learn a lot more about everybody involved in this and kind of see how everyone got brought into into this thing. Um, you think back about like the original mission, which is primarily like the the pain part of this is to get the. Uh, Get the scientists back uh, for the the Mormon Church, so they can complete the uh, environmental controls on the Nauvoo, essentially. Um, so that that that's just kind of a weird thing to think about too. But um, and not to mention, uh, this one of your buddies, Abby. Abby mentions she knows uh, Anne, uh, and I believe um, Myrtle knows. Uh, I forgot the guy's name offhand. It's Siri, Doctor Siri. Yeah. Yeah, Matthias Siri. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, you 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 uh, you know you you guys are kind of curious what happened with them and stuff like that too. So like, all right. So uh, as the ship's going, I uh, start getting the dings saying that you're within getting within a few hours of it. Uh, you would be on if you would be on their sensors at this point coming in. Uh, they would know that you're on a trajectory towards the asteroid. Um, um, I would mention to Jack Rabbit that uh, I can. So I'm good at deception. So if we need to like take a sort of a landing call, Onyx uh, might be able to help out and uh, throw out some fake call signals or just let them know we're approaching like usual. Okay. Let's see. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. So. Uh, yeah, you start. You, you guys are kind of on the approach, um, and uh, how do you guys want to approach this? Do you want to try to hail them first? Do you want to wait for them to hail you? What do you guys want to do? Or how do you want to fly? I guess Jack, you're in the you're in the uh, pilot seat here as it is. How do you want to approach the situation? And do you want to ask anyone to do anything for you? I think I would just like that. Would be one of the questions. Would would have been like, how you want me to do this? You want me to look like we in trouble? We need somewhere to land. We could try to do that. Oh, you got to, or do I just go in like we gotta, and then she would just sort of look around. I don't, what the, kind of the thing, one you, thing do? you do have going Maybe for we you, look in for a rock. The, the one thing you do have going for you is that the, the Ebenezer Hazard's transponder is operational, and it does advertise that it is that ship. So if this ship's yep. been making, yeah. uh, making stops there, this would be, they would be expecting, or this ship would be somehow be in the records. It, it wouldn't be weird for the ship to show up. Yeah, that's what I that's what I would say. I say, yeah, we just pretend the uh, same shipment, same ship, same people. You know, give them the same call sign. Hey, we're here again. Uh, let l- let us land, and we'll be out. You know, just just pretend we're the normal ship that comes. John, did we learn anything else about like what that shipment was like in this time, like in our like in the week, kind of going the, here? What, we, what shipment? Like, uh, whatever shipment it is that we are guessing is coming and going maybe people uh, that's what once again, jack like, rabbit is the thinking. ship is only geared up for uh it's very much geared towards uh bringing people okay. um like, like so it's most likely people yeah so if you have people you're, you're kind of putting it together if you have people missing or being abducted or just traveling there that they're this ship's built for it um, it also looks like if they were bringing, it, unlike most like transport ships where you would get on a ship and you share a core with a few people, this one's set up to have everyone kind of has their own quarters, um, so they can isolate everybody pretty well if they want to and lock them in their room essentially. But it's not like it's not like the thing is not like a prison ship. Is it isn't like they're not treating people like shit. Like they're they're feeding them, um, they're giving them nice decent beds. You know, uh, they have their own toilets and everything like that. So they're not like just throwing them into a freaking cell. Mm-hmm. So they are, is that they normal that there's? <laughs> would it be normal that there's those locking mechanisms on all of the doors? Like, so uh, would it make it seem like? You you, know, you see that kind they, of stuff mostly on military ships where they could lock a lock a room if they wanted to. Um, you don't see it on a lot of civilian ships. Maybe pirate ships on occasion, but yeah, as far as the locks though, like like where they're made and stuff like that, it's like a common lock. It's not like. It's it's not like a specialty lock or something like that. It's just pretty common. I mean, they're actually not that hard to break if you really want to. But look, we know they're taking the scientists there, and we probably okay. I bet so, you they're taking the belt is there for the labor. Very possible. I think we wait for them to hail us before we do anything too. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, Jack or Abby, you start. You come up on your approach. Um, up on scopes comes the the station. It's pretty easy to pick up. There's definitely an energy signal there. There's like some sort of reactor inside of it. Um, you're getting some. You're getting a ping, like not a ping from it, like not like a communication, but you can see it on scopes. It's not. It's not stealthy. It's not trying to hide. There's not like any lights on the on the surface or anything like that too, um, aside from where the docks are. But it's it's pretty like there's not like activity. Um, you don't see any ships around it. But it's, there's like definitely like the lights are on. So someone, something, someone or something's home. Looks like someone's home, uh, and they're not, they're not signaling us. No, you're you're flying towards it, and about the time, like this span of time, you expect them to ping you one way or the other. You don't get anything. Like nothing's coming out your way. Um, you're it's Abby. Far nothing. Abby takes a look at it and is like, telling you that, like, yeah, they're not like they're not broadcasting out. There's no like, um, 
there's no satellite dishes or anything on the on it on the surface that are functional. Like nothing, none of the communications are functioning. They do have communication capabilities, but they're not like turned on and they're not receiving and they're not. Uh, it doesn't look like they're tr- they're transmitting or receiving. Do you think I uh, do you think we should call them and uh, and uh, contact them first or just keep going? I say uh, keep going. Yeah, I say just keep going too. It doesn't seem like they're getting any signals. Maybe when we touch down. Um, we can find out, figure out what's going on with the comms. But, uh, okay. yeah. So, as you approach it, um, you can see this docking clamp set up. Um, Abby starts kind of messing, like, and checking on it and gives you kind of a readout of the, the asteroid. Um, you can see that there's, like, there is, like, a, a pair of docks. Uh, one of the docks uh, is not open, but the other dock is. Um, and you can see that like it, it's it's set up to like basically clamp down and like it has an automated thing to like bring the ship in and go through an airlock uh, and the like. Uh, there is also several um, like mining shafts, uh, external airlock mining shafts on the on the surface as well. Um, they're kind of scattered around, and the, the surface of it is big enough that you you could you could land the ship on that if you really wanted to. Okay, you think that's where we go? I'd be like communicating all of this. Uh, yeah, you guys are all hanging out in the, the, in the uh, cockpit. Right. I mean, it's not a problem. I've and I imagine before. I've just started looking since Wyatt's been teaching me about the tasers and Wyatt seems to know this military. You know, I don't know if Myrtle's up there too, but those two with the military background, it, it would. I think she would be looking to them for like. Uh, usually with the Beltas, we just go where we want to go. Don't know these protocols and and all those things. Just take it in, Jack. I believe. All right, that's what I do. Taking it in. Okay. Yeah, you're taking it in, and you're just kind of like looking at the what's happening on here. So, what is your approach? Like, where, where do you want to go? Do you want to go for the docks? Do you want to go for the surface? Do you want to take another loop around? Uh, what you all think? Let's take a loop around just to see if there's anything that we're not seeing. Um, I'm gonna have I'll have Abby do the sensors for you guys. Um, okay. Loop around it is. Big so pump so, so Abby's like on the on the the sensors, kind of watching it and checking it and looking at. It. And you guys are all watching her use it, and she's like, "Yeah, there's a reactor on inside. Like, there's definitely heat coming off of it. Um, and you can see like the primary area where there's like activity, like that is like systems are on, is that airlock, where is the the docking bay." Um, and it looks like there's another ship docked there somewhere, but it's it's like it's like locked up at least. You can't like you couldn't walk into it. Um, but then there's also like this series of like of airlocks along the mining shafts um, that were probably earlier uh, endeavors to get in there before they put the docks in. Uh, does the census pick up any uh, bo- people? Any what? Life forms? Life forms? No, the sensors don't pick up that kind of stuff. You uh, it would all be masked pretty well by a reactor. Yeah, they're they're not that sensitive. <laughs> not Star Trek, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Had to try. Had to try. You know what? <laughs> uh, what kind of life forms? What kind of humanoids yeah. are down there? Yeah. Uh, okay. I imagine like she would be like, so you think we just go to the docks because that would anywhere else would maybe look look like we up to something something but then if we get there do we have to have a i'm ready to use my taser even though (laughs) i cannot hit nothing it is weird that like no one is pinging you back like the lights are on but no one's contacting out but it looks like they like as far as abby is telling you like the the sensors on the surface are shut down like they're just they're isolated they're making sure no one can get in like like she's talking about like you've seen her hacking the systems but she's like yeah i can't i can't get into anything there's no connections like it's all just isolated inside she could get the, she could basically get the docks to work and get you docked, but that's about the extent of what she could do. I'd say we just dock it. Yeah, I say we dock and sneak sneak on. Even okay. if we can't, sneak, you know, we we need to have like a good plan of. Uh, I don't want to get shot again. <laughs> last time. Don't Why stand in front of the gun. Shot? <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Maybe this yeah. time none of us get shot, huh? Yeah, be sneaky like one. Onyx. <laughs> We sneak in the shadows this time. Walk around. We'll, yeah. we'll go quiet. So as they're talking, I would be moving it toward the docks, uh, just trying to make it seem like this is what we do. We bring, we bring what we bring, and we we show up where we show up. Um. Yes. Yeah, so you, you, so you kind of you kind of you know float the ship in, the tea kettle in, cut the drive. 
and you, you come on into the, the docking clamps. Oh, the ship's docking clamps are compatible with the, the clamps on here. Uh, the clamps go ahead and they automate and they, they grab the ship and bring it in um, and they, they start bringing it in towards the airlock uh, for the station. Um, so the, the, the door you guys came into the ship through is uh, now airlocked up to the, the station. I, I want to go up there kind of glance through. Is there a window? There'd be a window, wouldn't there? Um, you can, you can like, look through the cameras of the ship and everything like that, too. Yeah, no problem. Once we're up, hooked up, do we see anybody? Um, all you can see is the, uh, the inner door for the station. So you kind of look through it, and you can see the airlock. It's a pretty good-sized airlock, like it's meant to bring in cargo or whatever it is. And you can see the other door on the other side, and it's, it, too, is sealed. Okay. Uh, you don't see anybody out there. No one's, like, welcoming you. May have figured out to open that big door. Yeah, Abby's like, she can open the outer door to the airlock, but she can't open the inner door. Like, it looks like it's on an isolated system. Can I take a look at it and uh, see if uh, there's a way I can uh, muscle it open? Sure. Uh, you wanna, do you want to, do you want to, you would have to leave the ship then. Like you oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll follow. I'll All start right. walking over with Wyatt. Okay. As I uh, so you, you go over there and you, you walk up to it and uh, you start looking at the door. Um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good uh, airlock. It's not some cheap airlock system. Uh, kind of stuff you would see on normally on docks. Um, the uh, it looks like whatever system it, it's on is isolated to the inside of it. It's not like openable from the outside at all. There's no like key card slot. There's nothing like that. Like it's super set to like only one side only. Um, the, yeah, uh, no way. You can always and, just try knocking. And even even with the card key that you guys got for the ship, uh, that you're guessing was Hague's, um, you there's like it doesn't work at all. Like none of it's gonna let you in. But even he didn't have access to the interior of his place. Um, you could try to like bust out some tools and try to like cut your way through the door if you wanted to, but that would permanently damage the door. Uh, I look at why I entered it. Yeah, no, no way I can open it uh, unless I uh, get the tools out and uh, and slice there, the way through yeah, this there's thing. There's no way to open it without like permanently destroying the airlock, essentially. Yeah, I'll just walk up, up to the big door and just cool. slam my yeah. fist on it. You slam on it a few times. Okay. You give it a few knocks. John, I will just say, like, as this is happening, based on what just happened the last time we were in this kind of space, like, Jackrabbit's, like, she really eager with this, like, taser in a way that's probably, like, whoa, like, put put that thing down. But she'd be like, I'm ready, I'm ready. And do I see, like, is there anybody else around? Like, do we see anything else as I'm sort of, like... Okay, so, you, so, so why it goes up and you have Jackrabbit's, like, throw the taser, like, ah, okay. Um... You uh, you take a you take a walk up to it and um, it like you can see through like there's like some there are some windows there you can kind of see through it a little bit and you can see it looks like a storage room there's just like crates and everything like that um, and a, 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 across the way from it you can see like another door that goes into further into the station um, but you don't see anybody in there like nobody's like it doesn't look like anyone's home in there um, and mostly what you're seeing is just like crates it's it's similar stuff like food piles and like supplies for people and stuff like that too. Maybe we gotta put on the the vac suit and go all around the outside. <laughs> Might be our best option. You, honestly, you do notice there are cameras in the airlock, though. Well, we're being watched. Just look up at it and be like, "How oh, long do you want to stay there?" Stay and there. Jack for Rabbit would be like, "We got you. We got you, Chicago. Open the door. Oh, open the bay doors, Hal." <laughs> Okay, so you stand there for a second, and you're kind of like watching, Relax. and uh, you, um, I mean, nothing happens, like, for about, like, a minute, like, nothing's happening, you're just, like, no one's ringing you, no one's dinging you, none of that stuff's happening. Emma Loda's asleep, up there. I'm gonna sit with, uh, uh, with Abby to see if there's any kind of communications, maybe notice if there's any more, you know, ships that are coming out while this while they're doing whatever they're um, doing. She's watching the comms. She got she has you guys like contacted through your through your uh, little palm pilots or whatever it is. And uh she's like she's not seeing anything on like no one else is coming near this place. 
and the ship that's a, that's also docked here, like there's she's there's a, there's a drive on it. The, the transponder's like off. Like it's the ship's completely un, unpowered right now. Like it's not doing anything. I say we I say we put on the vac suits. I like make this gesture that we should go. Out. Why don't we go grab one of the crates that you didn't uh, tear okay. down and see if yeah. we can push it up here? Maybe they'll come grab it. Yeah. And the other thing we can do is we can get back in the ship and land somewhere else. It seemed like yeah. there were some other places we could go. That's very plausible, too. Yeah. Okay. So throw All the right. kick crate in and yeah. uh, see if that helps um, if anybody comes out. And if not, then we'll just kind of get back in and. Yeah, we'll play to the cameras like we're pretending like, oh, this, you know, the crate's coming in, like okay. pushing it. So open you, guys, the door. you guys start moving the crates. You start moving like one of the crates in there. Um, as you do, uh, uh, why you're kind of keeping an eye on the window, and as you as you look through, like you see there's a person on the other side of it, like approaching, uh, wearing um, uh, like light, like a like a security guard wearing light body armor uh, and such, like uh, uh, coming towards it. I'll kind of I'll motion to all of them that that's there's somebody in there and. Uh, Maybe keep himself close to cover. Okay. I'm by duck, the crate. I'm pretending crate. to be like a worker, okay. you know. Yeah, just the belt. All right. So uh, as you're standing there, this 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 guard kind of comes to the window, starts looking at you guys, and he's like, he's like kind of looking around, to see how many of you there are. He's not saying anything though. And just for flavor, Jack Rabbit would be to uh, to Wyatt for show would be like. Hey, boss man, this the, this the crate you wanted? This one? Okay. And okay, you, you're okay. talking, like you're talking, and like you're positive he can't hear you. Like he he can't hear you through the airlock. But he as, can he, as he's staring at you, he like pulls up his comm and he starts talking to somebody while staring at you. Definitely checking to see if we're supposed to be coming whenever the shipment was. I'm sure. <laughs> Um, they're like whispering to you guys, yeah. Yeah, he's like talking to someone and like kind of looking around sometimes and reporting back and like talking to the, and then he, uh, as he sees you guys doing this, he starts like walking away, uh, goes to the door that he came through and looks like he's waiting for something. I don't think this looks good. It seems, uh, seems back, seems mal, seems mal. I don't know. Do we just wait here? It seems like we sit and duck. We should have had everybody hide in the crate. <laughs> <laughs> and then pop out but uh, too late for that uh, we're definitely sitting ducks right now I mean if we run they know they know something something is wrong and they sure. may not let us loose either if we're docked up they may not let us loose I say we uh we play the game okay just keep it cool we play the game Maybe okay, okay. Kids. Keep your cool as she's like bouncing <laughs> yeah. a little bit too much. She's got her taser out and she looks at it like, oh, keep your cool. Okay. Uh, puts, just put, doesn't like put it down, just like scratches her back, like, but still has it. Uh, a little, little nervous kind of twitch. I like that Jackrabbit's super small and then Onyx, I'm super tall. So I just picture this yeah. like really odd. Yeah. <laughs> it's Perry. I guess we should have made it look like we were part of the, the uh, packages that they bring in on uh, Onyx. Nobody cares about the belt test. So maybe yeah, that would have been just a think better we're idea. Crew. I think if anything, they just think we're crew. So maybe we're okay. And we worry okay, about okay. Uh, the Earther. So yeah, you, you're kind of chilling out there and like uh, essentially you see another f uh, five men armed, dressed exactly like him come through the back door that he, that he was waiting for. Um, and at least two of them have like tasers in hand. Uh, or, sorry, sorry. All of them have, sorry, all of them have pistols. Sorry, they not tasers, they have pistols. They got like lethal weapons. Oh, that's not good. That's and, not good. Uh, it looks like why uh, make a tactics check real quick and tell us his tactics, I think it is for you. There's dash day, uh, there's dash danger, danger. 16. Okay, um, they're getting ready to set up firing positions, and they're gonna open the airlock and just light you guys the fuck up. I'm just gonna like slowly push everybody back. Okay, okay. so you start telling oh, them it's time to go. Fucking time to go. Yeah. Um, push the cr can we push the crate like as close to the airlock door as we? Sure. You push in the other direction and you start getting ready to board. Um, it looks like. And the is there any way to jam it? I'm oh, sorry, jam the door. Oh, you can put the crate in there. 
Yeah, that's like we want to like right. jam so really the crate to, to lock up the airlock and everything like that too. Um, they the one guy that was like uh, that first came up, he's getting ready. It looks like he's on the other side of the door, ready to push the button to open the airlock, and like they're gonna blast you. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Shut our doors and okay, so you guys it. board up and you shut your doors. Um, Jack Rabbit, right. do, do you want to make a, a bank for the cockpit or what? Yeah. Okay, so you make a bank for the cockpit. I mean, that's, uh, yeah, she know how to run. She a rabbit, okay, she so know you, how to you run. You run up the thing, you climb up the ladder, and you get up and you start the ship up, and you're like, get the fuck up, you start the de-docking uh, things. I turn on the like torpedoes. You, you manage to get the ship, like, free. Um, it doesn't look like they opened the airlock because the, the thing was jammed, but they're, um, you know, you're, you're definitely loose now, floating outside the asteroid. I'm gonna yeah, have... When they were all running and stuff, I was just like, oh shit. And I went and got strapped in. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, go. It got real pretty quick. Yeah, I wanna have a torpedo set. I'm not gonna fire it unless something is fired upon us. But I wanna have one set and ready. Where, where do you want it? You have to lock onto something with it. What do you wanna help it fire after? Well, we know that they're right behind the airlock door. Yeah, so, so you wanna lock on the docks, basically. Yep. Okay, so you, you, you put a torpedo lock on the dock. Uh, the torpedo would you have to get pretty far away from the uh, you can't fire at a point blank because you'll basically destroy your own mm -hmm. ship uh, mm -hmm. with all the debris but you can you can get it locked on pretty quick um, and it, it would it would hit that no problem that's not even a problem to hit that target uh, for a torpedo especially at a decent range and there's no defenses on the station uh, but you guys managed to pull off and get away from get a decent amount of distance from the station and stuff like that too um, what do you guys want to do yeah, what did we, we uh, do now? What do we do now? She'd be like a little panicked. Like, I thought we just go there, like we drop enough cargo, and now they got the guns. What do we do? What do we do? I think this. Grab it. Calm down. Okay. okay <laughs> we can okay, do this. Okay. We can do this. We need to okay. hang back for a little bit, and then go land on near one of those uh, old mine shafts and see if we can get yeah. in. There. I said, land him on the mine shaft. Yes. We go okay. around and go the sneaky way around. Yeah, we try it to look nice like we're, can I make it look like we're leaving? You know, like do a little oh, yeah, trickery, you can, you can trickery like with it, yeah. Onyx, like, the, the things that like are Aonyx. Around, it's part of the belt, so it doesn't orbit around the sun, and you can go the opposite direction really quickly and yeah. bank out. Uh, how, how much time do you want to spend leaving the station before like you want to try to land on a different section of it? I think we give it uh, some good amount of time. Yeah. What is a I substantial so, amount too. of time? Let's say an hour. Hour? Okay. Yeah. As we're yes. flying away, I'm making obscene gestures to the five guys in the airlock, you know? Just like, <laughs> they'll, they'll never know. They'll never get us. <laughs> yeah, and as we go, I would just say, Onyx, you help and make it look like we go somewhere, like we get out, get the hell out. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I just would, like, want to do, a, like, a deal, like, loop in, uh, just in the direction that we had came come from, and then, yeah, after a bit, like, maybe kind of find another course, like, that would come back around the back. Type of side. I don't know how those things work, but something like that. Like yeah, you said a, like a trick. The back door. Trick yeah. Course. Yeah, trick course. It looks like we're going this way, and then, uh, yeah, if I could help her engineer it in a way to <laughs> make it look like we're going. Um, okay. So you. You go and you bank off of it for a while, and you kind of you kind of fly out. That's really not an issue. Um, landing on the surface of this thing is not really an issue either. Um, there's several shafts, like you can kind of you can kind of land where you want to, and it's not that big. They're not they're not that spread out, so you can kind of have your selection of where you wanted to go. Um, John, also like while we were out there, if it was an hour, I think I would be like saying like, "What to plan? What to plan? We don't even know what we what we're getting in for now. We go down to mine shaft. What are we even looking for? People? What you think?" We're looking for them scientists and some more people, but uh, yeah, we gotta go. We gotta. We can't skip this place. We definitely need a plan because they were they were heavily armored and ready to shoot the shit out of us, and I really don't want that again. Fair enough. It's, okay. it's like a kind of place where you could like I don't know like ducks and stuff like a you know I like looking at the whatever the station looks like. Is this a like knowing? Like I feel like Jackrabbit grew up like basically like sneaking oh. into places through ducks. So, like she's super small. Another so another interesting is element to Jackrabbit like you noticed is that according to the reports you guys had Herculean five three two Herculean had no spin gravity. This place has been given spin gravity. So there was when you guys were out there there was like about 0.3 g's of gravity like about 0.28 or something like that. But there it does have gravity. Like it's been spun up. So someone put some money into this. So something's going on down there. Okay. Oh yeah, she would. 
she would say that. Seems like someone put the money in there. There's, it's not supposed to be gravity. They doing something, that's for sure. We got to find out, I guess. But I, really, that was yeah. a lot of guns. So, hey, we land, yes. land on the underbelly, this place. <laughs> Circle back Not around, sure. yeah. sneakier now, I guess. And we're just looking for a way in. I think that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. Like we we land and we try to find a way in. That's not by knocking on the doors this time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know why that that didn't work. You know, just knock on the door, say let me in. It seemed like a good plan at the time. Just... I, that's how I got into a lot of stations, just like that. Just, just ask nicely. <laughs> I, I, I use my indoor voice. <laughs> um, all right, so you guys kind of like float around it, and you, you manage to land on the surface uh, away from the docks, out of sight of the docks. Um, landing on the surface isn't much of a problem at all. The, the place is pretty big. There's plenty of little uh, veils, and it looks like the place has been landed a bunch, honestly. Uh, and it's, not, it's, it's in proximity to these different airlocks that kind of go, look like they go down into, into the, some shafts or something like that. Um, so you guys, get, you guys are going to put on back suits and do this? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Abby says she's going to just monitor the site and she'll communicate. If she sees any ships incoming or leaving or anyone on the surface, she'll fucking dial you guys up no problem. And the comms seem to work fine. Like, there's no jamming. There's no, like, nothing's trying to in, uh, mess with you guys. Although there is a, if you guys wanted to contact for help, like you want to hit back Tycho Station, it'd be a, it'd be a few minutes before we get back uh, there or something like that. And that would be your nearest uh, major station. Hey, Abby, you got a Bex? Okay. And then I, yeah. Abby and I bonded. We had a late night of drinking, so I feel like I would trust, I would trust she, Abby drinking a You You feel like she, I don't want to say fetishized, but she definitely was interested in your in your suffering as a belter. <laughs> like she wanted to hear yeah, about I, ha- I have a lot of, su- I have a lot of sufferings as a belter, and the drunker I get, the better those stories about those belter sufferings would have been. So I feel like by the time we hear, I'd be like, okay, Okay, you my Baratna now. You don't leave us. You don't leave us with this ship, Abby. Uh, Remember, if you and have then, no air, do this. Yeah. <laughs> You're all the suiting up. Right. Yeah. Um, so why you kind of start? You take a look around off off the side here, like through the the sensors and the cameras on the outside of the ship, and you find that there is. Um, uh, actually, give, Jack, give me a give me a quick uh, pilot check to see if you can land properly. I just want to check on that real quick. You should be able to pull this off pretty easy. You're a pretty damn good pilot, so. Twelve. Good enough. Yeah, so you managed to it's land barely. the ship no problem. It's actually pretty easy to land this one area. Like I said, it looks like it's, it's been landed quite a few times. Um, you can see that there's at least, like, uh, there's a set of airlocks not too far from this landing position. Uh, these outer kind of airlocks. Um, it looks like they're, based on what you've seen, uh, Onyx, you, you know these kind of airlocks. These are these, they're rigged to, uh, if there's like an explosion or like some sort of issue inside, they're meant to vent. Okay. So this is kind of a place where like you would exhaust stuff from inside the station if it was a problem. Although based on the doors of these things, compared to what you saw with the docking stations, it is not maintained. Okay. It doesn't look like they've messed with this for like uh this hasn't been done up in fifty years. Yeah, old an old way we always go in through the vent. They never take care of these doors. We could get in through this way, good. Um, and it looks like you, about to be it, 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 it kind of like it looks like uh, the kind of door you could rig mechanically to open up if you wanted to onyx like the older tech okay. um, yeah. worst case scenario you could bust out like the acetylene torches and all, all the torches you have and like get through the doors if you really wanted to the issue with uh, that is that it's kind of noisy yeah. but I'll try the mechanical approach first yeah okay. all right so you gonna, are you gonna back suit up we have a wait yeah. team yes I am right. which one do you guys yeah, I'll grab some uh, stims you know, or anything like that that we might need in case we get in trouble. You, you grab some patch kits, like stuff that'll yeah. patch people up. Um, you grab a quick med kit. Uh, it's a portable med kit. Like it would be for someone like you know, like injure themselves on the job. It's not going to like repair a, a, a gunshot wound or something like that, or do it or repair someone's bones. But it would definitely stabilize them to the point where you could get them back to the ship if you needed to. And um, I hand everybody and- a little odor oil before we we put on our suits. It's a tradition that we must drink before we go out there. And the um, the vaccines all have patch kits too. So if you, uh, one thing to remember too in the expanse, if you get shot in combat, you have to. It isn't just a matter of healing. You have to also patch your suit before you start getting shot in the expanse. Isn't just taking damage. It's also starting to suffocate. <laughs> right. 
I love how brutal combat is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't we all have those kind of patches? Yeah, the yeah. suits have like do a patch all, kit. It's a standard. Do we all standard... have those patches with us? Okay. Yeah, that like you have enough to do probably three patches. You know. Um, all right. And everybody here is pretty. You know, we've all been in suits before, so we know we know what we're doing oh, there. Yeah. And... So you, you, gonna... get on, you get on the surface. Uh, the spin gravity uh, wants to kind of throw you off, but um, you can you can if you walk in a certain way, it'll it'll keep you there. Um, Onyx, you're taking point on this. Um, there's nothing on the surface too. You don't know you notice there's no sensors, there's no cameras. Um, why it like your little? It's it's kind of a weird place. It seems like they have it really locked down, but they have nothing on the surface to indicate anyone's really home. And the only thing you're picking up is like a reactor inside the place. That's it. Okay. Um, so Onyx, you go up and you approach the door. Um, you have your you have your tool kit and everything like that too. Your wrenches and everything like that too. Uh, you start wanting to mess with it. Uh, give me an uh, intelligence. Uh, either you can do security or you can do engineering. Your choice. I'll do engineering. Okay. I got a plus. So plus three total. All right. Uh, let's see. Thirteen and a drama die is two. Two. Okay. Um, you go up to the system and like you start kind of like re-rigging the door. And you're basically making it disable the door. So essentially, this airlock is just going to be as soon as you open it, it won't reclose. Okay. But this side, of, okay. Of that, this side of it will not reclose. That side won't reclose. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I start to let them know. I go. Uh, Once I get this open, there's no closing it. Um, do you want me to keep doing it this way, or uh, try to get the uh, the blowtorch and the louder tools out and see if I can open it the other way? The I other way this... would be that you can you can re I mean, you can reclose it. You just can't like you have to reclose it manually. You have to like pull the door closed. Oh, okay, like, gotcha. you just lodge it from the mechanism. Okay, then I'll just open it. Then. Okay, so you open it up. Um, you guys all manage to get into this airlock, and uh, it looks like it drops down. Like it, it also it, like the gravity is so low, you can kind of float down a little bit. It's only 0.3, It's not too bad. It's not like it's not gonna, like break your knees or something like that. But um, it looks like through the door, it, it goes into like a mine shaft. And these are kind of like, these mine shafts, uh, our Belter friends here have seen, like, I mean, you might have lived in some of, the, some of these, where they repurpose the mine shafts into like homes, essentially, or like burrows. Um, these ones are obviously not cleaned up. They're dirty. They were actually, like the last time they were used were as mine shafts. Um, but there's definitely like, I mean, just debris and like floating around and I mean stuff's kind of around like it's it's all accumulated in one corner from the the spin gravity um you know it'll you see Myrtle this is why I I don't think about the fuzzy slippers so much I grew up in place like this uh but you you know you'll notice she kind of likes the idea of fuzzy slippers maybe I can put some rabbit ears on one one day that's a nice dream this is making me homesick <laughs> it is a little bit actually um <laughs> yeah. the um it isn't like, I mean, where you guys are from, like, e Eros actually has, like, a staff, like, it, as much as shithole Eros is, it actually has, like, businesses, like, tech supporting it. This place, you have, aside from the docks, you haven't seen any support on it. Um, okay. Yeah. Down we who's go. Going, who's going down first? <laughs> I'll take the Maybe you, yeah, maybe you show <laughs> us how, Wyatt. Maybe you show us how it go. Why you take, I look a, to Onyx. You, you take a shot, you, you yeah. go up, the door opens up, no problem. Um, once you get past the mechanisms, you're inside of it, you can open it up. Um, you float on down to the floor, and like there's nothing in here. Uh, make give me a quick, uh, like uh, search check. I think that's perception. Mm -hmm. ah. Sixteen. Sixteen. And remember, tell me what you guys get on the drama die, too. Um, if you got six or four, okay. so you take a look around and like no one's been in here for a long time. I mean, it's just it's just like there's just crap. Everything has been shaken loose. It's gonna be shaken loose and on like it's most of it's on the ceiling from the or on the wall from the, it's the spin gravity. But um, yeah, it's like I mean, it's just crap. Like there's not much in here at all. There's no like leftover equipment. Um, they've been cut clean. Um, whatever was in here, they took and they left a long time ago. It's Compared to what you saw uh, in the other place, this is like n not it at all. Okay. Is there any other hey, doors honest. down here? Um, the shafts go on for a while, like a few okay. hundred feet. Okay. And I would ask Onyx, like, hey, Onyx, is there any way to find out where the power is in this place? None of this stuff seems like it's got taken any energy. Maybe we uh, go toward it. Yeah, let me look around. I try to look for any wiring. And I also would think, uh, yeah, this is odd. It's like, uh, 
the belters were here before mining it and then they left and then somebody else came in and built a station on top of it so we're finding like the old part so i bet you maybe this way it goes into the main way they just they don't know about it yet and yeah. i try to look for some type of like power line or or some type there's of no power system. lines going up no. here um the uh, i mean there's like some power going to the airlock and stuff like that too but like it's not um it's not Can a major I... power line but you could definitely feel like you follow the shafts further down into okay. the station you would get towards the center where there's probably a reactor if, if, if abby said there's a reactor in here it's going to be towards the center of the of the station not towards the exterior by any stretch of imagination um okay. it, you do know that like both you and um uh, onyx and jackrabbit both know that like there's going to be some major drops in this um one of the things you're thinking about is that this was these shafts were not built with gravity in mind but now there's gravity that means that if there is a certain shaft in a certain direction, which is probably going to go towards the center, it's you can't just climb it. You have to, or you have to climb it. You can't just float down uh, up it. You're going to have to actually climb. Mm -hmm. um, so it might be, in, it might be, uh, you're either going to need to like rig some gear, um, some ropes and pulleys, or something like that, or uh, get very, very careful on your climbs. Yeah, we should definitely do the safer way and come up with some rigging to yeah uh, i feel like we wouldn't yeah definitely knowing that that we wouldn't go uh and the suits yeah, have like you have like straps and you have like um kind of climbing rig stuff to, like to strap you to like a a ship or like a uh you know a, a d ring or something like that so you can like you can hold on so you guys do have some of that gear um uh, it's not great gear but it'll it'll it might it'll probably do the trick you think and also seeing how like Chorus, the rock is on this thing. Like you're pretty sure climbing it would, like putting stuff into the in the rock wouldn't be too hard. Definitely do that then. Yeah, I'll start setting up and building uh, or rigging everybody up and connecting folks who want to be connected. If anybody wants to be tied to somebody, you tell me. Well, I want to Wyatt. I connect to Wyatt. Okay. He's right, so you guys one. all link up. Uh, not a problem. The thing is, like, even no even offense, in, Myrtle. No offense. <laughs> um, even in the shaft, if you were to like fall like a, a pretty good distance, the chance for injury is very low because of how slow the gravity is. There's only a third. You're not going to hit like a you know a bad terminal velocity. You're not going to like you're not going to die. It's not it's not going to feel good, but you're not going to die. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, we'll have more chance to correct it. Yeah, you have a lot of chance to correct it and to slow your and to slow your uh, descent essentially. Um, all right, so you guys start kind of like going through this a little bit here. Uh, let me get a, let me get a marching order. Uh, I assume Wyatt's at the front was what I heard. Mm -hmm. uh, who wants to be second, third, and fourth? I'm connected uh, fourth. to Wyatt. Okay, so yeah, I have I'm Jack Rabbit behind. Too. Yeah, I'll, I'll be behind Jack Rabbit, and then Myrtle was Myrtle back. Okay. Yeah. And are you guys yeah. you guys have your weapons out, or how do you guys want to do this? I got mine. Are out. We, are we climbing like with no you're, you're going things, flat or? initially you're basically your guess is that like the shaft goes flat along the surface kind of and then like there's going to be a okay. shaft that goes straight down to the next layer okay yeah. and there is a little microgravity you said right yeah it, it, you have a third of gravity so you're actually like walking on the ceiling of it and the shaft will be above you okay yeah so you, you want to climb but once again it's only a third gravity the developers it's not like the martians and the earthers aren't going to have much of an issue on the your actual your actual target number is lower for climbing than it is for the belters so it's a little harder time doing and it. i got a free fall okay. on my uh dexterity. free fall is when you're in zero g oh. Oh, okay okay got but I, would, I would let you use free fall like you would have a better chance of taking of not taking damage from a fall than the, the other group like you know how to deal okay. with microgravity better okay that's what i was Does that make sense okay yeah you're not as good at climbing but you're better at falling yeah, let's get this game. I'm even better at getting up. I'm just that's true. That's what builders do, man. They get knocked down a lot, but they always get up. Yep. All right. Okay, I'm good to go now. Okay. So you guys start making your approach to the first, um, the first piece here um, with Wyatt in uh, the front. Um, Wyatt, as you're approaching, um, you you guys have noticed like there's not a lot of tech in here. There's a few wires kind of going along. It. You're guessing this is basic power. Um, there's none of it for camera. You don't see any cameras. You don't see any like surveillance on it. Um, but as you approach Wyatt, you kind of come to this first shaft that goes, looks like it's going to go pretty high up, uh, quite a few feet up, um, or meters up. Uh, but you notice, like, as you're... The rest of the group's getting kind of excited that there's the way. Uh, you take a look around, and you start realizing, like, like, you're looking at the floor, and you start seeing, like, covered in dust and the debris that's been here for a while coming off the shaft. Um, it looks uneven for some reason. 
point that out to everybody. Okay. Um, and I think we should kind of check this out. Okay. Not from blaster marks or uh, vents. There's no marks. blast marks. I mean, if there are, they're really they're they're pretty. They're like decades and decades old. Um, but you see, like, uh, but you see him pointing out on the floor, like, like there's kind of an uneven floor at the bottom of the shaft, and you can see where like, all the dust and shit that was in that shaft has accumulated at the bottom of it, um, for the spin gravity, uh, on the top of it, depending on what your orientation is. Um, but yeah, you can see, like, there's, like, something up at the floor there. Is it uneven, like, something got dragged through it kind of uneven, or, like... It's just uh... settling uneven, like, there's, like, some parts that are up, oh, okay. up like, are kind of popped up. Um, gotcha. Yeah. I'll just walk towards it. Okay, you walk up towards it. When you're not that far from it, you kind of take a look at it. Um, you can see whatever's under, it's underneath a bunch of dust and dirt. Uh, debris, basically, like from the, the shaft. I'll, I'll look back at everybody and be like, should I just wipe it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. Uh, give me a, um, give me like a, give me a dexterity check when you do this. Probably a, a belt out. We always get killed, killed in these damn mine shafts. 18. 18, okay. So you start kind of like, you kind of brush it off with your with your gloves and such, um, keeping it kind of light. And as you do, you can see there's a series of like pressure plates. Um, they remind you of some like, like kind of like, uh, they're not military grade, they're more like IEDs, but like it looks like they're rigged up to like explosive devices. And I'll just kind of like step back a little bit. We need to watch out for these, because these are going to be a lot worse than the, the pistol blast I got to the arm last week. It's true. It's very true. Can, I, can uh, Onyx go in and I just want to see the engineering, if it's something I could uh, actually dismantle. Uh, you, you can see the rigging on it. Uh, this would be demolitions versus engineering. OK. Do you want to, do you want to try to dismantle them? Uh, I look. I look at them. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. This is a bomb, but uh, I work on uh, mostly ships and stuff. But uh, I could give it a try. But uh, it might make a them lot and, of noise. And, and <laughs> to rig yourself to climb the shaft with, without bypassing them is, or turning them off is going to be uh, a whole nother issue. But yeah, maybe like... we just leave it. Maybe we just leave it, Onyx. I know it might be fun to uh, play with bomb, but. Maybe that's not the thing to do right now. The, yeah. And we can uh, go around it, right, John? It's uh, like no, if we know that it's, they're it's there. It's at the very bottom or... of the shaft. So the problem is your, oh. the way you would rig your climbing gear, you would have to like go a, kind of dance around these things. There's too much risk in that. Yeah. There's also too um, much risk in you trying to... And then, Onyx, give me a uh, give me an engineering check, though. I'll let you know if you, okay. what you know about it. And you're not trying to dismantle You're trying to know about it. Plus three. Okay, so uh, 12, and I got a two on the drama die. You got 12 total? Yeah. Um, you're looking at it and like, I mean, it's not like, this isn't military grade, this isn't like something you buy, this is something someone rigged. Okay. Poorly. Um, and also, based on the time and like how much crap's on top of it, it's been here for a few decades. Oh, this is an old, old trap. It reminds you of pi- it basically reminds you of pirate like stories you would hear about pirates like rigging asteroids to blow and shit. Oh. Oh yeah, very old trap. I I think I've seen one of these, uh, heard one of these in a long time ago. The old belt of pirates or uh, ice pirates <laughs> out there who rig these things. I said, uh, yeah, but uh, maybe I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't dismantle it. But it's not, definitely not uh, anything the military did. This may be our only way, though. We may have to try, or at least setting it off from a distance. But then that's just going to alert everybody yeah, to where we're at. Yeah, almost anyone on the place would would feel the rumble of this thing. Um, there would definitely be a kind of like a you'd hear that in the distance for sure. There's no way the there's no way anyone on the ship on the on the station would not hear it. Essentially, well, tell you what, I could try. I got a lot of fortune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. I could. Uh, is this something I could also maybe help with? Like, I'm just like. Thinking about my like a uh, belter. Um, I would give you. Just, like, I, I, I would let like one of you stuff. help on it. Like you can't have everyone helping on the bomb. Like not there's not enough space around the bomb to do that situation. <laughs> um, you know, let's dismantle the bomb with eight sets of hands. Let's do that. You know, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I would let one of you help him out, uh, and I would give him a plus two on the demolitions check to dismantle it. Um, I'd say. You can also okay, uh, it's, it's, it's demolitions or security. Demolitions would be you trying to unwire it. Security would be you trying to like re-rig the computer on it. 
Uh, okay, I have none of those skills, but uh, you got a good spark guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I, I've been rolling like crap I got all day. A, I got improvisation. It's something I do got. Yeah. Is this like the kind of thing where you'd need improvisation to do? Uh, no, you don't need the skill to do this, but okay. it, it certainly, uh, yeah, you don't need the skill. But you, could, I would let you help okay. uh, our belter friend while the other, while our two innards just let you guys like suffer. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> it's okay. And, and Jackrabbit would just look at them and say, "Do we? Do either of you know how to do this kind of thing, or shall we just go?" I mean, can style? I help by like searching using my searching skill to instead of having our pilot taken out if something happens? I mean, you could be the one to help instead if you want to. Yeah, I'll have uh, Jackrabbit just kind of, I'll be like, bounce around over oh, there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, it yeah. does look like, uh, based on what you know, though, looking at the explosives, uh, Onyx and like your mining experience, it's something that you know about these kind of things, just being a belter. Um, it's only a two meter uh, radius blast, so that the rest of the crew could certainly be out of the, the distance of the blast if you have a problem with it. Okay. Yeah, maybe just lose a couple of fingers. That's okay. As I tell Jack, I would go back. I'm gonna hand her my pistol. And be like, if if I survive this, I want this back. But if I don't, <laughs> take care of it. Yeah, her eyes are real big. Like, yeah, I'm super excited uh, about the potato. Oh wait, but then that means okay, no problem. I hold on to it for <laughs> Jack you. Jack Rabbit, you got, got the ship and the gun. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got the money and the drugs. All right. Um, all right. So. Uh, uh, Onyx, I'm going to give you a plus two uh, okay. on top of whatever you normally have for demolitions with intelligence on this. Okay, I have nothing on, so just a plus two. All right, here it goes. You, what's your intelligence? Uh, just one. Okay, so you have plus three? Okay. Yeah, okay, so that wasn't good at all. <laughs> What'd you get? So I got a seven plus a three, it's a ten, and I got a one on the drama die. Okay, do you want to spend any fortune? Uh, yeah, so how much would I, uh, let's see, okay, so I got 10, uh, let's make it, uh, let's make it, uh, since it's a Belta made, 15. All right, so you're going to spend six fortune points. Yeah. All right. Churn goes up. Churn. Uh, but you get, a, you have a 15 total with, uh, with a six on the drama die. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're, you're like, you're rigging it, and like, why, you, you've seen people work on explosives before in the military, and like this guy is like, he's just flying by the seat. You're pretty sure he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> and like, you're, you know, well, like, uh, start, like, oh, backing it's you, up a little. you give him a, like, he doesn't see it, but you give him a look like, I'm, I can't believe I'm going to die with you. That look. <laughs> uh, like, spit on this. Kind of, spit on this real quick. But, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, by, once again, by the skin of your teeth, uh, you managed to rig this thing. Uh, and you you get it uh, disabled. The the explosives are disabled. Yeah, right when I'm about to pull the last one, I'm like, yeah. Uh, no, uh, okay. I should also mention you have a uh, you now have a, uh, a a small set of explosives. So you manage to get the explosives right. set, and you have like a you have a detonator. You could you could uh, basically rig with a uh, okay. a pressure plate if you wanted to. Okay. So basically, you have a mine is what it comes down to. Okay. It's it's like a really. It's a very obvious mine. Like if you put it on the ground, people would notice it very quickly. But you could cover it up or do something with it or hide it. Oh, this is going to be good in my room. That way, nobody's sneaking on me when I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> they keep keep out danger. <laughs> they, they call you Senor Pe Pelegro. All right. <laughs> so, um, all right. Um, so you managed to pull up this this explosive, this IED situation. Um, uh, on your sheet, just write pirate mine. Like the, okay. it's like a pirate mine is what it is. Uh, you guys look up the shaft, and like you can see the shaft goes up a few, uh, uh, probably like a few dozen meters, or, or towards the center of the asteroid, a few dozen meters. Thanks, climb. All right. I'm gonna, Start before Jack up starts to climb, I'm just gonna like put my hand out and be like, Oh yeah, oh yeah. I give him the taser. Just kidding. I just kidding. Give him the pistol. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm also just going to assume you guys uh, took the time to reload your tasers and your pistols with like actual ammunition versus the plastic ammunition you were practicing with. <laughs> like, yes. You don't want the yeah. you don't want to use the not like the really non lethal rounds in the uh, in the non lethal gun. Um, all right. So you guys go ahead and uh, you kind of rig it up, and you're looking up and taking a, taking a shot at like what's. Uh, the way that it goes, the shaft goes uh, straight towards the center of the the asteroid, the station, and such. Um, uh, who wants to lead the climb? And it's, a, it's a, I should mention climbing strength based. I'll go. Okay. First. 
Alright. Wyatt's gonna start rigging it up. Uh, make a make a strength check as you start trying to climb this thing. Oh, uh, give yourself an additional plus two because or give yourself a plus one because you're a Martian. Uh Donna, you'll get a plus two on this because you're an Earther. That's just a massive eight. Massive eight, okay. You're trying to get a grip on it, and like you're, it's it's not too bad. Um, there are kind of like uh, handholds along it that have been uh, drilled, so it looks like someone was before there was gravity. They're using the handholds to push themselves along. Um, so you kind of do manage to start getting yourself up a little bit, uh, and you start kind of trying to rig it uh, for everybody else. Uh, who wants to go second? If we're if like we're attached to each other, right? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, but there's like yeah, slack. This... I mean, there's slack. Okay, I think that would be Jackrabbit then with her uh, plus zero strength. Okay. I'm like, well, instead, I'm like, maybe it would have been good if I uh, just climb on your back, Wyatt. You want me to give the strength check as she's climbing? Yeah, that's why he got an eight, because you're on his back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be ten with a three on the drama die. So yeah, you start you start climbing up too. Uh, you start using these handholds. Um, you're, you know, it's not too bad. Like, you, you've kind of climbed stuff on Eros and stuff like that too. The gravity here is very similar to Eros. Like, uh, it's a little bit less than Eros, but not much. Uh, who's third? Uh, I'll, I'll go third. So, uh, strength? Okay, plus one. Come on. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, nine. Oh, nice. Okay, so I got a 15 and 16, and I got a six on the drama die. God damn. All right, well, that's a that's a churn bonus. Churn. Uh, oh! But um, you, uh, you do manage to start climbing it a bit. Um, and you're sure both the builders actually, you guys actually feel kind of home at uh, doing this. And, and you've heard stories about mining and like the hardships of it and like the, the radiation and how, you know, rough it was for folks. But yeah, you do, uh, this is kind of taking you back to the stories of your people and stuff like that too. So it almost feels like your, um, like your heritage to do this. How that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think we'd be, I'd be talking us uh, stories. This is what it like growing up, Myrtle, you know, all of those things. <laughs> Make sure you remind me to tell Abby, but I'll talk about it as we have to climb both ways, right? She'd like that. All right. Uh, Myrtle, give me your, uh, it's a strength check with an additional plus two because you're an earther. The, this doesn't seem like a very hard climb. Uh, oh. <laughs> Eight. Eight? Okay. You were the, the, God damn, I give you guys bonuses. But I've got like... great dexterity if I'm trying to fall. <laughs> I'm trying to wiggle around here. Okay, so you guys start, you guys do manage it. It's not a very hard climb, but you guys start managing climbing up. Um, there's, uh, let me get one more round of, of checks. Let me start with um, Wyatt. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. You start, you kind of get your bearings on it, and so what'd you go to the drama die? Six. Oh, six? Okay. I like that. Um, <laughs> Trims at 17 people. Oh! Uh, so you guys, you guys, you start making uh, your leeway. Uh, Jackrabbit, uh, give me your check. Nine. Nine? That's good enough. It's only eight to make it up that way. So you start making it up as well. Um, and then Onyx, give me yours. Okay. All right. Nine. Ten. And, ten. Yeah, ten and a two on the drum. Okay. You're, you're making up no problem. And then uh, last, let's get uh, Myrtle. Okay. 12 with two on the driving die. Not a problem. You guys managed to get to the top of the shaft and you come up into another uh, layer. Um, you can see there's a lot more wiring in this section. Uh, Onyx, you're getting pretty sure you're getting closer to the center of this place. Um, and the wiring is going dis distinctly in one direction. And you're pretty sure that's the direction you need to head uh, along this uh, shaft. Do we see any more potential for a pressure plate on the ground up here? Uh, give me a search check. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you start looking around and like you're not seeing anything around this shaft. Okay. Um, see anything, but we should really be careful. Okay. So you take your right. time on it. You kind of, you kind of make some uh, slow progress towards it. Uh, you head down the shaft, guys, for a few for um, a few hundred meters. And, Do we hear uh, anything? What's up? Do we hear anything? Like as we're kind of in the uh, I mean, you're in vacuum. In you're, in, you're in vacuum right now. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, you're gonna hear each other, but that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as feeling, like you don't feel like anything really moving. Um, uh, you can feel the gravity of the place a little bit, but like you don't feel like banging. Um, if there was, it'd be coming from like a metal area to like a stone area, so it gets dispersed throughout the entire asteroid pretty evenly. Um, okay. So you're not really hearing anything. Yeah, it's 
Um, being in space is scary, people. <laughs> uh, so, um, I, I will say this: like, I, one of my favorite video games is Dead Space, and the parts when you're in when you're in a vacuum and like you get hit, and it's just it's like there's no sound, and then when you get hit, it's just loud as shit. I love that because it's like it's it's tra- all the, all the sound comes through your feet. That's what you got. Um, so you keep on moving through. Uh, why up ahead you can see there it looks like uh the tech is the tech for this area is kind of co- coalesced and you see what looks to be um like a loading elevator like a uh, uh what the hell is it called uh not a maintenance elevator but like an elevator for loading uh gear okay. um or moving moving the stuff around the station and such okay. so we start heading that way okay you start heading that way um Okay, you, you, you kind of, you're walking up to it, no problem, um, and uh, uh, as you are, uh, Wyatt, you, um, let, me, uh, let me check for you real quick. Okay, Wyatt, you're approaching it, and like, you're about to take a step, and then like, you can kind of see through the dust that's in here. There's like a, there's like a small laser beam in front of it. it looks like a, like a laser trip wire. Okay. I'll stop everybody. I'll motion to Onyx and be like, anything you can do about that? Onyx, you, chop, you go over and you can see like the laser trip wire in the walls and stuff like that too. Um, and you can see that like it's it's rigged to uh, explode and like basically cave this section in if it's tripped. Spong. Oh, good thing you did not step on that. Well, this whole shaft comes down. Um, Oh, yeah, I look at it to see if I would be able to dismantle that. It's, it's not. It's, it's a, once again, it's a kind of a crap. It's not a military job. It's it's this kind of rigged uh, gear. Uh, looks like a proximity, like a basic like laser sensor with like some uh, mining charges rigged on it. They were probably left over. But yeah, you think you could probably dismantle it? Uh, demolitions or security, your cha- your choice. Okay, I have neither. <laughs> so, do you want any help on this? Uh, yeah, can I? I was gonna not. say like. Can I, uh, can I help right, this time? Like, do it? Right. Yeah. Yeah, like, the blue wire, not the red. Yeah, oh, that okay. one. Right, yes. give your, uh, you get a, I'll give you a plus two unless we get help for you, buddy. Okay. Is that blue? I don't know this color. All right, two, uh, let's see. Okay, 11 plus two, uh, 13, and I get a one on the drama die. Um, you managed to dismantle the, you managed to unrig it, but you, uh, you, <laughs> You don't get the the explosives free of it. You're not sure you could salvage them without blowing them up. Okay. So it's a success, but not you don't get the cool stuff from it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever ah. they do in here, they sure are uh, keeping it safe. Unless but once they, again, uh... Uh, Onyx, you notice it's like an older job. It's been here for a long yeah. time. This is old, old bomb. Another old, probably a belted bomb or minor bomb. But maybe if people uh... were coming through the the vent. Maybe I don't know. You do know so that the uh, the elevator next to you is it is powered. That seems strange to any one of you that this thing has power. Does that mean we can ride it all the way up, just like at the doors? That seems a little uh, like knocking on the door, but with an elevator. I don't know when it's the last time that it was in use, but. Uh... Don't think there's nowhere else to go around here, and it doesn't look like anybody's been here down here in a while, in a long time. Is there a ladder beside this elevator? Uh, no. It, it it looks like it's for like taking. It looks like what they did initially was they were just mining kind of the surface areas with ships like landing there and bringing it on, but then later as they got the mines more elaborate, they actually rigged a dock on here to uh, bring the materials through and actually like you know make it easier to load them up okay. a lot faster. Is there any settled dust around the base of the elevator? Yeah, I mean, for, uh, the the dust is actually, um, yeah, you kind of look at it and like, you guys are essentially like on the ceiling, like from where your ship landed and you're looking at it and you can see that the, um, uh, yeah, like it, it's, it's, it looks pretty settled. I mean, uh, make a, give me like a perception check with that, uh, searching or whatever you want to make it uh, for. I would say probably, I'd probably say searching. Or touching, make it a touching, a, a perception touching check. <laughs> Definitely not tasting. 
Do the vac suit on. <laughs> 14. 14. All right. So you start five on the drama die. What was on the drama die? Five. But um, you start to look at it and like, yeah, like the dust is pretty subtle. It's pretty thick. It doesn't, you don't see any footsteps or anything coming this way. Like it looks like it's been abandoned for a while, but it's still active. Like it's, it, there's still power going to it. Well, yeah. It, does it look like we could easily get in it? Uh, you want to try? <laughs> there's like a button. I mean, I mean, is this the kind of thing I would like, I would just kind of say, it did the kind of thing we can like, you know, how right on top of the things in case the doors open and there's something there we can see down and not just be like, I, I, I don't want to be ducks again. It does look like the elevator, fun. Uh, the way you're looking at it is, yeah, it goes up towards the center or towards the, um, it goes, it would basically, the way you'd be standing out, you'd be going down. Towards the center, yeah. Does it look like something we could do that, John? Like ride on the like um, you know well, you how have in elevators the elevator first, are you can... like try to see if you can if you oh, can get on top of it. Okay. Sure, why not? Okay. Yeah. And Jackrabbit, you could always ride on the top of the elevator. And then I some mean, of us on the fun. inside. <laughs> yeah. Um you go ahead and push the button on it and uh it comes, it, it takes a while, but it eventually comes through. Um, you're guessing it's traveling like a few hundred meters or something like that. Um, and you can see there's different floors for it as well. But it looks like, based on what you're, uh, it does arrive and you can you get inside and you can see there's like a, like like the rigging of the buttons and the, the command panel. It's pretty dusty. It doesn't look like it's been used for a long time. Um, but you can see there's like different layers to the, to the place and there's different mine shafts. But you do see the one section that says um, to uh, the docks. And that's the very extent of how far it goes, is to the docks. How many how many stops would there be between here and the docks? Uh, there would be approximately five. And it's like it's like it's like labeled like you know like sh- it has like shaft numbers um, and stuff like that too. May not hurt to go to each one, open it up, and just take a glance. Yeah. Nothing. Poke head in, see if it's just like this. So you push yeah. the buttons. And do you think, I'd also say, do you think that we stop like maybe one floor away from the dock since we know that there are people there and then we can maybe climb up that way? We could certainly try. I don't think that'd be a bad plan. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm good at climbing. Um, so you, you go ahead and you push all the, you push the buttons and you stop on the first go and it's a shaft. It looks like they were, they were deeper into the, the asteroid and you can see they mined it out pretty thoroughly. Uh, it's very evenly done. Um, There's a good amount of, the dust and so that too. Once again, though, Myrtle, like it looks like this hasn't been touched in decades. Even and this is like less touched. Um, it's still and it is still hard vacuum. Okay. Next. Is there, is there a trip wire though, like the last one? Uh, do you want to take a time? You want to stop there and search it out? Give me a search check. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. <laughs> Fifteen again. What was it? 15. 15. You, you take a look around and there's no trip wires. Um, th- this shaft, though, like doesn't look like it goes to the surface at all. Okay. Or if it does, it's difficult to, to make it to the surface from it. You'd be a lot more climbing. Um, okay. Go to the next one. Same thing, uh, Donna, like you, or uh, Myrtle, you see like it's just it's just dust. Um, it's, oh, there's I've no seen lights in everything kind of the way I saw it before. Yeah, it's it's all looking pretty repetitive. It looks like like they mined this place out pretty thoroughly, and didn't, but they didn't mine it out to the point where like it collapsed on itself. It's actually pretty stable, all things considered. But there's not much here to to go for. Right. All right. Go up another. All right. Built the handiwork. It, it, it continues on like this, and you get to the floor before it's going to hit the dock the dock level. Um, what do you guys want to do? Uh, I'm gonna have my pistol ready. Okay. You pull out your your taser. I think you have the taser. Yeah, uh, stun gun. Stun, stun gun. Yeah, you pull out your taser, and uh, uh, everybody has their weapons ready. No problem. Uh, Jackrabbit, do you want to try to get on top of the elevator for this, or? Yeah, I do. Okay. I want to be up high. I don't know um, why. Just you, in case, just in case, it's a surprise. And, and these like surprises. This you know? elevator is meant for maintenance, so it's not really an issue to. Uh, to get the door open on the ceiling and stuff like that, and anybody can boost you up, you can climb in, it's not really a problem. Um, so you manage to get up on top of the elevator pretty easy, and you're kind of sitting there, chilling out. Uh, the the elevator's ready to go to the, to the dock level. What do you guys want to do? Is there like a, 
a corner that I can kind of... Yeah, you can get behind a door and stuff like that, too. Yeah, yeah I want to do that. Okay. So you get behind a door, and you're kind of chilling out there. Um, the elevator comes up and lands. The door is open, and just beyond the door, you can see an airlock. Nobody there? No, there's nobody there. Um, and it's not uh, as big as an airlock as you saw with like like it's not like it's not like a like the full blown ship airlock. It's a more of a personal airlock. Are there uh, cameras? Do we see any cameras? Yeah. Um, give me a uh, scene check, uh, Myrtle. Perception scene. Thirteen. What was it? Fifteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yep. Um, you go up and you, you kind of take a look around, and yeah, you can see there's a camera there. Is there any way we can dismantle this without being seen? Uh, you could try to like just run up to it and like try to like uh, put your hand over it or something like that if you want to. I mean, uh, then try to can dismantle I it or rub, you, can rub some dust. you can certainly shoot it or. It's uh, not like um, like some wire, like you know, like a wire that can be unplugged. Yeah. That's like I can't just wall. rewire so, like, mounted into the wall. Um, they're, like part of that. Uh, but you can certainly probably try to like you could. I mean, you could certainly shoot it. Uh, you guys are in hard vacuum right now, so there wouldn't be any sound. I'll give it a shot, and then if you guys are up cool with me shooting it, I'm going to shoot it. Yeah. All right, doors yeah. and corners. So go ahead and... and all right, uh, Big Pampa. Give right, it a give shot. Me, uh, make, it, make an attack roll with that real quick, uh, a pistol shot. And the, you also know the taser would do the trick, too. The taser would just zap it out. Like, and so there's a... 16 and 6 on the drama die. Oh. Okay, so there's 6, huh? All right. So you go up and you pop the... You pop the the camera. The camera just it just you can see it shatter and break and all that stuff. Um, and then uh, it looks like I mean you shoot it. That's that's it. What do you guys want to do immediately afterwards? So we get Is there a window with this uh, airlock? Yeah, you can see a window. Uh, I want to kind of sneak or not maybe sneak up to it and see if I can see anybody looking um, this it's, way. It's a brief airlock, so it looks like it's it's meant for um, the uh, the elevator will like. Uh, Basically, yeah, there's just an airlock directly in front of it, a pair of double, a pair of double doors, and some of that too. Um, it looks like it doesn't open until the elevator closes. Hey, Jack, I, you might have to come down. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, she already like she's already like what's kind of scrambling, little little rabbity crouch down. She's like down low now. Like, okay, <laughs> keep it low, keep it low. All right. So you go ahead and you you uh, close up the elevator, and then it looks like the uh, it looks like this area is kind of it's it like you can try to get the door to open and stuff like that too, and start having to go through the cycle uh, and like um, who wants to try to open the door? Who wants to be up front? Uh, I heard Wyatt in the front. Uh, was there something else I'll, there? I'll try. I'll stay in the back again. and kind of uh, crouch down, but still have my uh, stun pistol ready. Yeah, okay. and I'll get up. Yeah, Onyx will get up there and try to pry it or open it the way I've been open, trying to open it stuff. The gear I got, tools. Okay. Is it possible to help with that with my engineering stuff too? Of just like a, a we're both messing with the mechanisms. So yeah, you know, the, the first door manages like it just opens up no problem. Like once the elevator the elevator shuts off and like leaves and everything like that too. And it looks like if you want to use the elevator again, you're gonna to have to cycle the whole thing over again. Um, as you do it, the room begins to pressurize. Uh, you can, you guys can certainly breathe the atmosphere in here if you wanted to. Uh, although you can keep the back suits on if you're, you're as well if you if you'd like. Um, oh, but you're definitely in, in, in atmosphere now. Okay, so I hear. So I see Onyx is taking off the helmet. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? If Onyx took off his, I would take mine. Okay. Yeah. Right. Got the belters. All right. You, and then the, the two in <laughs> are like, nah. Belter, <laughs> right. Belter um, That's what she'd yeah. say. Belter you, you, you see the second door. Onyx and it is not cycling. There's a, there's another door behind the airlock door. It's like a security door. It is not opening. Um, but it doesn't look like it's quite as like elaborate as the the docking door. Okay, uh, I'll kind of uh, I'll go up to it and take a look, and uh, maybe I'll strap our helmets back on. Just in case. Um, go ahead and give me a um, give me a security uh, intelligence security test. All right. So you can bypass security. Oh my god. I'm rolling so terribly. Uh, that is a seven. I rolled t- a one on the drama die. I've been rolling so many ones. Seven. Okay. Do you <laughs> do you wish to spend any any? Uh, oh force? yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um. So I got. What did I get? Uh. All right. 
So let's make it like 13. Okay, so you guys turn the six on it? Yeah. Congratulations, so turn 20. Ah! Uh, ah! You, you, you up the turn two on two full amount for one for spending fortune and then two for uh, getting making it a six. Yeah. So uh, you go up and you start rigging it and um, uh, the door opens up no problem. You, you can now see that you're like inside the station um, and the atmosphere in here is now a part of where you guys are. So if, if they were to like blow that back door, the elevator door or whatever it is, like the whole place will depressurize. So you, you're if you want to take off your helmet, this is it's actually not unsafe to take your helmet off, essentially. Oh, recycle there. Alright. As you stare out, you're staring out into a uh, a corner. It's 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 dimly lit, like it's lit, but it's not like bright lights. Um, you can see that it goes on for, I mean, a, a very long distance. It looks like it goes on for like dozens of meters up ahead. Um, you can see that there's doors on the left and right. Uh, there's two doors on the left, two doors on the right, and there's a, there's a set of doors at the very end of it. But I mean, it goes on for a ways. Gotta check every door. All right, so which way are you guys gonna go? I mean, obviously there's only way to go forward. Mm -hmm. um, about, uh, it was up one, two, three, four. About 30 meters up is the first set of the doors on each side of the room. I say we go up Are there the any more cameras? Yeah, that's uh, good. If we're going down make this a, way, Make a scene models? check, Jackrabbit. Gotta look around for, for cameras. Uh, that's perception. Yeah. That's a 12. Um, you don't see any cameras in the hallway. Just on the, just on the door no you guys came through. Here. I'm gonna stand by the doors on the right as as we're kind of going forward, you know. And there's so, nothing in the hallway. The hallway is about um, six meters across, uh, so you guys go two two abreast without without much issue. Uh, but there's not like there's no cover. There's nothing like that. There's no like crap. Um, everything's pretty clean, um, very sterile. Yeah, none of that dust. Like actually, that's one thing. Is like the room you guys were in. Like there's there wasn't really any dust in there, but now there's like you guys are tracking in dust in these people's houses. So good, congratulations. <laughs> And is there, like, are these doors you can see into? Or is it, like, got to open all of the doors? Oh, uh, no, the, these doors are, are sealed. They're not them. airlock doors, so they don't have, like, the glass on or anything like that, too. Just a regular, like, door so handle? Uh, no, they're, they're automated. Like, you push a button and they open up or whatever it is. Or they, they open up based on proximity. Okay. Or by um, security clearance, stuff like that. I would say, do you think we got to open these doors because we're looking for the people? Or do you think we just keep going? I think that we should check out what's in these doors because we would hate to have somebody come from behind. I agree. Well, yeah, yeah. I think we check everything. We look for the belters and the scientists. So, do you guys want to go to the first door on the left? There's, there's a door on the left and right, and there's more doors past that. Do you want to stop at the first doors, or do you want to keep on going, or what do you want to do? Let's go first to the first doors. All of them. Okay. All of them. So you, come, you guys come yeah. into this pair of doors. There's one on the left, one on the right. Um, which uh, which one do you want to check first, left or right? And they're not labeled. Right. Like there's, there's nothing's labeled. Right. Right. Okay. You take a look at the uh, Myrtle. You go. You take a look at the door to the right. And uh, this door, compared to the other door across the hallway, is a much more elaborate. Um, you can see, like, uh, you go to kind of push it, and it looks like it's locked down. Like there's like a, um, like a, a key code to put in to get in here. Um, but the doors indicate to you. Uh, make a. Um, uh, make it as an intelligence check for me. Uh, technology or engineering, your choice. And? And the doors indicate there's something like vital, like a vital system on the other side of this door. They're they're not like they're not the kind of doors people go through just arbitrarily. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll probably have to do some finagling to try to get through this one. Do you want to check and see if the other one will open easy first? Yeah, let's do you that. Check the, the left one. You walk right across the hall, see their door, and the other door, uh, it is indicated that it's locked as well. Um, but once again, though, they have kind of a simple like locking mechanism. It's like a simple alphanumeric uh, system. Uh, it's not like a key card system. Um, they're older locks, like, but they'll, they'll they'll keep you out, but you might be able to like, crack through them with a, like a technology check or something like that. Hey, Onyx, okay. you good at that still? Yeah, I, I can don't, do technology. You feel okay, Onyx? You looked a little uh, worried there before. You all right trying again? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got. I just did a bomb, did a plate. I, I opened everything today. What, which, which one do you want to go through? Do you want to go through the simpler door or the more complicated door? 
Uh, let's go for the simpler door because I also uh, I know I have this explosive for the. Uh, okay. Yeah, if you really need to get through it, you can get through it. All right. All right uh, give check. me a give me a technology check. Uh, intelligence technology. Oh, finally. Or security. Uh, sorry, actually, it's security technology. Your choice. Okay, I'll do tech. So I got 18 total and a six on the drama die. <laughs> yeah. Turn 21. All right. So um, you managed to like, go through the alphanumeric and, and what did you get total, was it? Uh, let's see, I uh, got plus two, 18. 18. So you managed to get through the door without much issue. Uh, it's a pretty simple lock. Something you was, it, it, it's antiquated tech. Um, the door unlocks, but right when it unlocks uh, down the, the hallway, um, those of you that have your helmets off, Oh, and I think it's just the two of you. Are, I took you, off. are you guys all take your helmets off? Okay. Um, you start hearing like you start hearing like boots coming oh. your direction. Get in the door. Do you want to try to go through the door? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what do we see immediately through that door? Just curious. Um, you open up the door, Onyx, uh, as you're hearing like what sounds like like uh, mobile people marching towards you. Um, the door, the room opens up into like I mean a pretty big area like a, like a large room um in the middle of it you see um you can see like lab like as you're looking at it you see a series of lab stations but like across the way you see like a series of pods like they look almost like torpedoes but they're a little bit bigger um they also kind of remind you uh jackrabbit of like uh your slingshot racer um about that size and then like it looks like the, it looks like a lab of some sort there's like computers everywhere um the room is very clean um, and there's like you can see there's like um, a uh, like on the like you can see like a series of beds like medical beds and then you can also see that there's like uh, in the middle of like a pod um, it's like a it's like a giant computer system with like people plugged into it and like they're sitting there just like doing their business on it. Well, I say we go in. Yeah, and then Quickly. I try I close the door. Okay, you go in, you close the door, and then you. Um, do you want to lock it or try to lock it on the inside? Inside. Yeah. Okay. So you go ahead and you lock it. Um, you put the, the, the lock on and stuff like that too. Uh, as you stand in this room, uh, you see that like the people don't seem to really respond to you like at all. Like the people like sitting on the computers and stuff like that too. Um, but you can hear it humming. Like there's like a computer, there's a computers and electronics everywhere. Um, it feels very antiseptic. Like there's like it's just like really clean uh, lab. Like lab is a really emphasis here. Um, and you can see there's like like the, the the left side of the room has like a bunch of high end medical gear, like like high quality auto docs, um, operating tables, stuff like that. Uh, there's no like blood or anything like that. Like no one's being dissected or anything like that. Um, and there's. Uh, People kind of like like plugged into a computer. There's like like four people plugged in this computer in the, in the center of the room, um, be, uh, in front of you, in front behind them is these pods, and you can see there's like about another like uh, three or four people like going through these terminals and like on the walls like doing a lot of work, very very much into it. Uh, largely, they haven't really noticed you at all enter the room. Do we um, recognize any of them? Yeah. Are they any of the people we've been looking for? Um, you. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, the left is an operating theater. It's not. It's actually not a. It's not part of the same room. But it's an operating theater with like a, with like a clear glass thing where like it, it would uh, people aren't wouldn't uh, they'd have to enter it or go through it and such like that too. Um, and uh, you can see people are scrubbing in and they're kind of like looking uh, like looks like they're dissecting something. There's not like a person, but they're 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 doing tests and such like that too. Um, you kind of look around the room and everyone doesn't seem to really look your direction. Uh, except one person at the terminal kind of like, like, kind of like, what the hell is this? And like, looks over to you. Uh, and Myrtle, you you recognize uh, Doctor Siri, oh. uh, Mateo Siri. He's like, what the hell's going on here? Mateo, what are you doing? He uh, he kind of puts his terminal down and he kind of walks over to. Him. He's like, how'd you get here? Like, what the hell is happening? Um. Yeah. Well, I've, I've, I've been sent to kind of find you. I mean, you've been missing and everybody is worried about you. I haven't seen you since, you know, I've talked to your wife, I've talked to your son, and nobody knows where you are. So we've come to see where you are and see if we can help. And the dock workers, they let us in so your friend could find out that you okay. Yeah. So you come with us. 
That's what he's I like, he's, he's kind of looking around. He's like, are, are you here just for me or anyone? Like, he's like, what about... He's like kind of pointing to the other people around him. Like, what about, are you here for anyone else? Just me? Well, it depends. Are you here on your own or are you being forced to be here? They, he's like, they're... He kind of he kind of takes a second. He like, he kind of look at the door. And he's like, "Is security now? You coming through?" He, like he, you guys can hear stuff outside the door, like people coming up. Um, it sounds like they're trying to beat through the door. Like they're trying to put codes in the door. Oh, okay. And he's like, he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, are they gonna come? He's like, they're gonna be through to say. He's like, looks like he's already getting ready to take cover. Like he's like getting worried about them coming to the door. How fast can you put something on that door, Onyx? Uh, I, I'll try my fast. Uh, I'll go right now, and I grab the. Uh... I start trying to hook up that uh, okay. explosive to the uh, door. Give me a demolitions check, uh, Onyx. Yeah. And I'm gonna like start pushing people back from the okay. door. So, yeah. um, all right, let me see what I Onyx got, gets. I got a nine. Nine, okay. So you go to try to rig the explosive on it and uh, make a dexterity check, uh, acrobatics. One, two. All right, Whew. all right, 13. Um. Is there another way yeah, you out? Got, you got it. What would you get total? 13. 13, okay. Um, so as you're rigging it, like, you just, this isn't your day. And uh, <laughs> roll, let me roll a d6. Let me see what kind of turn we get real quick. Oh, dear. See how, how, many fingers I, how many fingers I blow off. Major churn. Um, <laughs> Onyx, uh, as, you're, well, as you're messing with this thing, uh, the, like, the explosion, <laughs> like, it basically... Like right when you have it on the door, you're ready. You think you have like the sensor set up. Like they're messing with the door simultaneously, and the thing explodes. Um, <laughs> and you get caught in the uh, the blast of it all, as it would be. Yeah. Uh, I have to look at it real quick how hazards work because I'm trying to remember like. Um, good hazard. thing I spent all my fortune almost. <laughs> yeah, do you have fortune still? Because uh, yeah, thing, yeah, I got. Good thing they got, got medical some. supplies here. I got some. Um, yeah. <laughs> Throw me in one. Okay. Um, so you're going to take half damage to do a really good acrobatics check. Uh, okay. You would take a whopping 11 damage. Okay, that's all the fortune okay, I so have Okay, so you blow out your fortune and you like go flying <laughs> across the room and like like you scrape along the floor. Ah, as the door go- gets pushed onto the other side and you hear like several of the security guards screaming as they're crushed by the door. Um, oh. He did it, Onyx. That's not too bad. And Lucky you, asshole. Uh, What's wrong? Uh, why, as you go to like grab people that are like working, uh, as he, as Mateo's talking to uh, uh, Myrtle, you you go and like try to grab them to try to get out of the way, and like the first person you grab, like you kind of, they don't seem to want to move at all, and you try to move them again, and they go and like they get violent with you, um, they take a swing at you. And they didn't swing we you, here to help. We here to help. Duck. Um, and they seem to be rather uh, like, like this one person is going to get very aggressive towards you for trying to bring them out off their work. Uh, and you see Mateo go. Just like, like, be careful. Like, like you got to be careful. Uh, let me go and have everyone roll initiative because. Uh... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. All right. Do so we add uh, Dex to that, right? Yeah, you add your Dex to it. Yeah. Okay. You want the drama die on this too? No, drama die doesn't matter on the on this one. Okay. Good. I need to, I need to change my dice. <laughs> well, I heard Myrtle got twelve. You got, got a nineteen. I hear uh, Jack Rabbit has a nineteen. Nineteen. What'd you What'd you get, uh, Onyx? Uh, nine. I'm still recovering from the explosion. Nine for Onyx, and then what about uh, Wyatt? I got a twelve. Twelve. Okay. I need to figure out the rest of the crew here. I need to get some expanse die. Yeah, that's how, that's how that's how you win the game is you have to pay yeah. to win. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, Jackrabbit. So you're standing there and you see like you see like one of the scientists has suddenly just got very violent, like trying to swing at Wyatt. Despite him holding a gun, it seems like like this person wants to swing at them. Um, what do you want to do? And you can hear like you can hear some of the uh, the security officers outside like like moaning and like like very much going, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, I think uh, I think Jack Rabbit would know that Wyatt can handle this this guy, so it'd more be a 
about um can I like can I take a shot at one of those guys that are coming in through the door? No one's coming in through the door because the door's been exploded and the ones you can see okay. are on the ground like like pretty much crushed by a door. At least two of them are crushed by by the door. Okay, so they don't seem like a threat, or is it a there's, like a? There's some other guys on the other side of the door, but they're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. They're not going to come in immediately. Although you could, you could draw a beat on the door and fire at someone when they come in through. Uh, yeah, I think that's what she would do. But like uh, somewhere where there's some like cover, so okay. So the only cover you can take uh, with a shot on the door would be behind the scientist in the computer rig in the middle of the room. Mm. I think, you know, I would see Onyx, like, sprawled out on the floor, and so I think she would probably want to, like, kind of make sure Onyx is okay before, so I don't think I would do that. I think she would just, uh, I want to, like, kind of be ready to, to shoot anything that okay. comes through the door. Yeah. She'd say, you got that, you got that Koyo, Wyatt, and I would, <laughs> like, position up by um, Onyx. Can I use the guard up minor action? Yeah, sure. Okay. What's that one do again? It basically, it's like you're balancing action and defense, so you add a plus one or plus two to your defense until the end of the round, but you use the same modifier. I'll just do the plus one. Okay. It basically is a penalty on a next action. Gotcha. But you get it extra. Gotcha. Ready. Okay, so so to ready an action is a minor action. Oh, so, okay. So do you want to do you want to ready the action, or do you just want to like do this dodging thing? Um. It. I'm gonna ready action. Okay, so you're ready to shot. Okay, cool. All right, uh, Wyatt, what are you doing? So this, this like this like scientist is like trying like punch you in the face, like swinging wildly at you, trying to like grab you and shit. He's still trying to do that. Yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to like to to take our swing and uh, to attack you. I will try to. I don't know if it's possible. Pick him up and slam him to the ground. All right, make a. It's called a stun attack. So make a grappling, uh, a, a strength grapple or fighting grappling. Excuse me. Um, 15. 15. 15. Did you did you get any doubles or? Uh, does the dump does, if it's on the drama die and another die, that count? Yeah. yeah, I got two fives. Oh, nice. Okay, so you got nice. okay, so you have, so you have five uh, stunt points, um, and you can use these for the uh, the grappling uh, stunts essentially. There's tender um, strangle. Yeah. So do you like? So basically, you've grappled them, you've grabbed them, and then um uh. They can't basically can't move away from you. Uh, do you want to like take them down on the ground, or or like to prone them, or do you want to like try to use them as a human shield, or you know, pin them, or what do you want, or completely restrain them? Like, what would you want to do? Well, he did just try to punch me, so he's gonna become my uh, meat shield. Okay, you human shield. Make another grapple check real quick. <laughs> if you can, if you can get me in that position. Fifteen again. Yeah, you manage to get them, and you, you're holding you're holding in front of you. They're struggling, but you have your gun in front of you, uh, ready to fire any of these guys coming through the place. I got a six on the drama die. Okay, good to know. Um, all right, so you so you go ahead and you you you, uh, you have your human you have one of these scientists with a human shield. They're still struggling. Interestingly enough, the other scientists that like don't seem perturbed at all. The only one's kind of freaking out is Doctor Siri. He's like, "What the okay. hell is going on?" Uh, what do um? Let's go on to the next person, which is uh, Myrtle. Um, so when all the expand the the explosion happens and all that, I'm gonna pull down Mateo mm -hmm. to the ground mm -hmm. and right. um, and just like, dude, what is this? And I'm also gonna check on Onyx. Okay. See, you see Onyx, you know, can... Onyx looks like he's a he's like he's a little singed, uh, but he can still <laughs> walk it off. He's just not like uh, he's definitely got his bell rung. Okay, so he looks all right. So you I'm just gonna. Dr. Siri, uh, you have your taser ready and everything like that too. And he's like, he's like, he tells you that um, he's like, they, they had they've been trying to get me to work here for for months, but I kept on saying no. But now like it seems like they want me to work on this project. Uh, he's, uh, there's not much more he can say at the time. Right, right. right. Well, I'm just gonna kind of pull him down and just be ready for uh, whatever comes next. Okay. Uh, that'll be a minor action to to drop, and then uh, your I'll, I'll say your major action to try to cover him to make sure he's safe. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, let's go to uh, the scientist. Most of the scientists stand there. The one that you're grappling tries to break the grapple. Uh, okay. Make a grapple check, uh, Wyatt. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Um, 
you take uh, two points of damage um, as the scientist begins to bite your arm. A little son of a bitch. Yeah, you can burn the fort if you want to, or you can take damage. But uh, they begin like bite, trying to bite through your back suit. Um, you're not sure if they punctured or not, but they're definitely trying to like they're trying to hurt you. Um, okay. And they're, they're they're trying to struggle free, but they can't get free of your grapple. Um, the other ones don't seem perturbed. Uh, Doctor Siri is like uh, goes and kind of takes cover against the wall behind one of the consoles a little bit, but that's about the best he can do. Um, hunkered down. Onyx, it's your turn. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh. You stand up. My head, and my head hurts. Yeah, I stand up and um, I, I'm going to uh, find an area to. I mean, there's there's no other exits in this room. Right? No, you don't see, you don't see any exits. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, try to take some cover somewhere or like lay low, okay. and uh, I'll have my gun out. All right, you go. Uh, up and you kind of crouch down along one of the consoles yeah. behind one of the scientists who doesn't seem to even notice you. Like they're completely in their work doing all the stuff on their console. I'm kind of curious what's up with these consoles, but um, and as you're, st- you're sitting there taking like taking cover, you look up and the scientist, and it's Dr. Bragham, uh, Dr. Anne Anna Bragham. Oh, okay. And she's just standing there doing her work, like not perturbed at all. I'm um, her. I'm her. And I just like yell it out. <laughs> um, the security officer is. Uh, you see, um, uh, two of them come. There's one. Of the one of them. Darts across the uh, the door there real quick. Um, like he's not I trying to go to in the take room. Take a shot. Yeah, you take your shot. Go for it. Take your shot. Wait, Connix. Or sorry, uh, Jack Rabbit. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen will hit. Nice. Uh, give me damage on that. So two d six plus uh, your perception. Yeah. A six. Six oh, damage. Two d six. Okay. Oh, no, no, that's uh, 10 plus 2, 12. 12, okay. So you shoot him, your shot actually connects in him, and you see, oh, shit! And, like, he, you you clipped him. You didn't get a clean shot on him, but you definitely clipped him. Uh, you actually burned all his fortune <laughs> in the shot. Uh, so you put him on zero fortune, but he, he took a nice. he took a, uh, a wound on that to burn She would off. look at, like, she would look at Wyatt, like, I did, I did, I did well, that. You have a taser. That. But you have yeah. a taser, right? With a taser. Oh, yeah, taser, so it's only so 1d6. 1D6. Yeah. Okay, okay. So then that would have been six. Six? Okay. So you, your taser rings out and it hits him, bypassing the armor. Uh, it zaps him, but like his armor seems like he, he kind of like, oh shit, and he kind of like holds it off at, uh, as it's not lethal. Uh, he gets to the corner there and he returns fire. Uh, you're noticing that he doesn't have a pistol, he has a rifle. Oh. And he takes a shot at you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, Jack uh, Rabbit, it will be for a whopping uh, 10 damage as the rifle shot rings out. How does it work with the toughness? Do you like subtract Uh, your toughness? You subtract your toughness from it, and then anything over that you have to burn fortune for. Okay, so then it'd be 8 fortune burned? Yeah. Okay, now oh, learn okay. that. So, so you, you kind of like, shit, you like duck out as you see the, like, like oh, you're now in a live firefight. Um, as you sit there, his other buddy, uh, as you're kind of distracted, his other buddy pops a shot off at you with his rifle as well from the from the doorway. Uh, damn. Maybe you know, this is a bad idea. That's what guy, she's saying as she's standing there. Uh, this guy got a 20 to hit. Actually, we'll say with his cover, oh, yeah. he's 17, but he still hits. Um, and he. Um, oh, didn't you, weren't you taking that guard up thing? Oh, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. I just I went for the shot instead. Um, yeah, his shot is gonna hit you pretty hard. He's gonna use vicious blow on this. Uh, so this is eleven, yeah. uh, thirteen. Uh, he does thirteen damage to you, uh, Jackrab. So you subtract this toughness, and then the extra goes over if you have fortune to spend. Oh. Kulaboro, I do have some fortune to okay. spend, but not very much more. Okay. So you, uh, so, so yeah. What was that? Fourteen minus two. Uh, Thirteen so minus 12? two, so eleven. So yeah, you take 11, eleven. You have to burn eleven fortune to get rid of the damage. All right, cool. Okay. So he pops a shot at you as well, and um, you're uh, like, you're like, oh shit, like this is getting real. Uh, this, the, the shots are just whizzing past you left and right. Um, goes, uh, you, Onyx, you're pretty sure there's more guys out there, but like they're not coming through. It seems like like whatever they're doing, they're doing something else. Um, Goes to uh, back around a jackrabbit. Uh, yeah. Now she's now she's thinking of bolting. Um, you can. Uh, it's there. So you said the only place to like cover is behind these. You can get uh, like behind scientists? other scientists and like their consoles. 
Can I take a shot and then go? Yeah, like, sure. And then, yeah, yeah so that's work. what I want to so do. So you pop your shot off the guy, yeah. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen, that'll, that'll hit. Yeah, that barely hit him, but you, you get him. He's got some cover, but like that definitely does. Uh... So six more damage. Same guy, I want to hit the same guy. Okay. Six more damage. Okay, so your, your shot rings out and it hits him. Um, he, uh, that one actually shocks him out. Uh, let's see if you can how can you take the. Uh... Okay. He he took a uh, he had to take actually a wound and the injury to, to stay away. So he's like, oh, like he's like shocked out and shit, uh, not doing too well. Uh, Every time she doesn't even see it, she's like ducking. She was like almost eyes closed, like shooting ducks behind the, just sprinting now, like because uh, all these big huge weapons are coming her way. Yeah. Uh, so you see the guy like the guy's like oh getting zapped. He's still up, but he's not in good shape. Like he's barely like, holding it together. Um, yeah. All right. It is. Uh, let's go to uh, Wyatt. I want to shoot the other guard that I can okay. see. All right. You go pop with the other guy. Go for it. Twelve. Uh, Twelve will hit. Yeah. All right. I think cover just, I, I'm, I'm still trying to get the cover system in this game, but I believe the cover just, it just gives you more toughness, basically. It gives you more, like, uh, armor points, basically. Yeah, it gives you more armor points. And then, eight Eight damage? damage? Okay. So the shot rings out. No, and nine it, damage because of my... Uh... That's right, your pistol thing. Yeah, you're so close. So you, you pop a shot at the guy. Um, the the shot goes through, and it, uh, you said how much was it, nine? Yes. Nine, Okay. So it, it hits his light armor and such, and then uh, it, it, it kind of like it gets to the cover and it hits light armor. Um, he's still standing. Uh, he burns some fortune for that, but he's like, he's like shit. Like you can tell, he's like he's getting, he knows he's getting shot at. Um, all right, it is. Uh, let's go to uh, Myrtle. All right. Um, I am going to while I'm down, I'm going to get up and kneel. Okay. And um, so, which one? The so do they all have rifles? Yeah, the two. There's there's two of them at the door that have rifles. Okay. So and you're pretty I'm going... sure, based on what you guys have seen, where the door blew up, you killed two of them as well. They're like behind the debris of the door. <laughs> okay, I will shoot the uh, the one closest. All right. The, uh, it basically, it's the one that's been stun gunned a bunch. I'll steal the, the other one. one. Okay. All right. Go for it. Oh, let's see. Uh, 16? 16 hits with no problem. Uh, give me damage. All right. And it's just a taser, so. Uh, six, nine. Nine, okay. You, you, you get your shot and you see the taser bolts like sticking out of them. You see the table bolt sticking out of him, a little barb, and he's like, he like he he like falls over unconscious, and you can see his rifles like in the middle of the doorway. Excellent. All right, uh, it goes to uh, Mateo. Mateo's like, he's like, we gotta get out of here quick. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna tell you, these people aren't gonna willingly leave their work, but we gotta get out of here quick. We'll leave them and take you. Go grab that rifle. He's like, you want him to run to the door and grab the rifle? And he's like, no, I Well, maybe wait, maybe wait just a minute and then grab that rifle. Okay. But. Yeah, All we'll right. get the rifle on our way out. But yeah, we can get out of here. You come with us. Okay. Um, so he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's willing to like go with you guys completely uh, based on the circumstances. Um, he is concerned that you do kind of catch it. He's concerned with the other scientists here. Um but, uh, and they're starting to kind of look around with all the gunfire going on. They're actually starting to get pay attention somewhat. Um, all right. Yeah. What go, about the other one? What about the other one? And I'd also be here? asking him. And here? what about the Beltas? Where the Beltas? Yeah, and as you start thinking about the belt, he kind of like, he kind of looks around. He's like, he looks to the pods in the back of the room. Yeah, Jackrabbit would scramble that okay. way. I mean, if I, if we're we'll, not we'll in initiative. We'll get to the Jackrabbit's initiative. Mm-hmm. Onyx, it's your turn. Oh, okay. Uh, I will aim uh, for. I, I let everybody know the other doctors like where I'm taking cover. Anna, and, uh, Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she here. She here. And I'll start firing at the uh, one of the guys with the rifles. All right. There's one guy left at the door. Yeah, go for it. Okay. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. So 10 plus perception. Or, yeah. Okay. So 11. 11. Okay. Uh, your shot like rings out at them, and it actually does connect barely. Oh. All right. 2d6 plus 1. Uh, okay, two threes, so seven total. Seven total. Okay, your shot, like, like it, it, it actually clips through the corner pretty well, and like it doesn't even pan- it barely like registers like even panicking the guy. Okay. It was like that basically is- one point got through on him. As you're curious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh He saw all that, that guy's actually doing pretty good. The other guys, you guys abused. <laughs> you changed it up and shot him, and like it's just. Uh, at least you didn't. At least this time you didn't fucking shoot him in the shoulder and then beat him in the face with a crowbar. So I'll give you that. Side. <laughs> uh, that was just cruel. All right, you just take a shot at him and everything like that. Uh, do you want to try to grab Anna, or do you want to do anything with that, or just take? Or yeah, you aim, yeah. You, you took your shoulder turn. Yeah, you're kind of looking at that. Yes. Anna, Anna, and like she's trying looks to get down her attention. Like, what the fuck do you want? Like I'm busy. Um, uh, goes back around the security. The guy at the door. Uh, you hear him like you can hear him like saying something to people behind him. Um, but he then fires back at you. Uh, he's gonna fire this time at who killed the last? Oh, it was Myrtle. Like shot the dude, right? Yeah, yeah. Myrtle. He's gonna fire at you, Myrtle. Uh, Myrtle. He takes a shot out, and his shot. He got a ten to hit. He did not hit you. He actually gets, he whiffered pretty bad on that one. Um, <laughs> so his shot goes kind of wild. He's like he seems distracted by who's ever behind him. Um, but he's like he's definitely talking to someone behind there. Uh, goes to Jackrabbit. What do you want to do? Uh, where are these pods? You said there were these like yeah, pods they're like in the pods back? leaned up against the back wall, like they're all kind of set up and stuff like that too. Um, they have is glass this on thing? them. I was you gonna say, is this them? like a thing that if I ran out there, I'm like super in the middle of like? No, you'd be running away from them. You'd middle. actually have cover. You'd, you'd be you'd have like the computer core with the, the scientists in it between you and them. Can I pop up and like take a shot and then hit, go to the pods? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you won't be able to really get an idea what's inside the pods, but you could definitely get to them. Okay. Right, so you pop your shot off. Give me your, just give me your little pop shot at this guy. You can put his 16. head down. What'd you get? 16. That hits, yeah. Give me the taser damage. One day uh, you'll have a real good. Four. Four taser damage. Okay. The taser yeah, just impacts the, the taser just impacts on uh, the the uh, it is into his shoulder pad. It just disperses in his shoulder pad. Does nothing to him. Yeah. You can see, you can just, see the barb sitting out of his shoulder pad. Yeah, right, she's also the, like kind of distracted too. The, the it's just like you, a off the. The one thing you do know about the pods is there's like there's like mist coming off of them, and you can feel that this side of the room is much colder than the other side of the room. All right, goes to Wyatt. You got your you got oh the sign I forgot the scientist of you too by the light. Wyatt's trying to get rid of trying to get free, uh, and they do once again manage to bite you. Uh, this time for uh, uh, what, what was it? I think it's two damage. You so my important for that, yeah. Does my, my, does my toughness of two just cover oh, that? Oh, your toughness of two, yeah, you just, it just eats it up. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. I'm going to shoot that through. They're, they're, just like, they're just like slowly chewing their way through your fucking back suit. <laughs> a little rat. I'm going to yeah. shoot the guard. All right, go for it. 15, 16. That hits, no problem. That'll give you damage on that. Nine. Nine. Okay, your shot gets through. Um, it hits him for a little bit, uh, or like it, it definitely like it gets him panicked a little bit. Uh, three damage of his fortune. Three of his fortune going away. He's he's in good shape still. Um, he's that he's really using that cover. He's got some armor on too. All right. Uh, goes to um Myrtle. All right. Um, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, so I'm gonna just talk to Mateo first. I was like, who are these people and what is going on? Can you? Talk it's to them some, to maybe let us out here. It's some private company. I don't. I don't know who we're working for. All I know is that like they're only getting information in and out of here, like via ship. They're not. Nothing's being transmitted. We haven't heard from anything. We've been super isolated. They pretty much let us sleep and work. Most of the people here though seem pretty eager to do it. I know Anna. I know Anna. He points to Anna from Tycho. She was. She was really into it, and she even went through the procedure. What procedure? Uh, he's like he kind of like looks off the side a little bit and doesn't seem to want to say anything. All right, well we can talk about that later. Um, does it sound like the other person's trying to get through the door still? Uh, no, the, the like uh, no, the door is off. That like the door is completely like I mean, blasted. Yeah. Um, but the one guy's in the door covering it, and he looks like he's talking to someone behind them. 
Right. But you can see there's there's like there's like one guy limp down the way with his rifle in the middle of the doorway. Two guys you can you can kind of see their arms and feet from behind the blast door that Onyx detonated. That's right. about it. Okay, you can't, but how many can't, more on the can't tell who he's talking to. Yeah, you is don't know it, who he's talking to. Yeah, you can't hear the gunshots to... either. I mean, there's no. I that would be like a target number twenty to hear what they're saying to each other as you guys are firing through this room. Right. I was just. Is there a way I could move in the room that I could see out there to see who they're talking to? Um, I'll let that be your. I'll let that be your major action if you really want yeah. to try to like kind of see. Give me a scene test. See if you can see through the. What's going on out there? That. Which one is that? Is that? Perception? It's under perception. Yeah. And yeah, you kind of look over and you can kind of see there's like some there's like other guards like arm like look like him, but they're not coming into the room with you guys. It looks like they're doing something else. Okay. Okay. Um, and you kind of sit there and keep keep Mateo in the cover. Uh, let's go to uh, the scientist. Uh, the scientist still does not like being held, and he tries to bite uh, Wyatt again. Uh, this time the bite is is not successful. You're kind of catching on to their tricks. Nothing happens. Um, Anna kind of looks down at uh, you, Onyx, and um, is uh, very much like, like kind of like, kind of like looks at you kind of weird and says like, why are we, why are we fighting right now? What, what's, what, why is everyone shooting each other? Doesn't really understand what's going on. Um, I go, Sabang, yeah, you idiot. And then I, I um, do I think I could run? So so the other guy who's in the cover, like, would I be able to run and just like tackle that guy? Or yeah, you, you, you're, you're within range. Yeah, I'd let you do that. Okay, I'm just gonna run and. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's, a it's a stun. It's a stun attack. So uh, roll, uh, roll grappling when you go to uh, strength grappling. So fighting grappling. Right. Okay, fighting. All yeah, right, fighting grappling. Two. All right, I only got two more fortune if I. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got a uh, see plus two, right? So okay, twelve. That's a licky. And I got a six on the drama, though. Okay. Did you did you get any doubles? Uh, yeah, I got two sixes. Oh yeah. Okay, so you, so you have six. Okay, so basically you have six gra- uh, points to spend on the grappling stunt. So I'm, I'm guessing gonna strangle. you want to you want to uh, grapple him. Yeah, I'm just gonna strang- strangle this guy. You want to guy. also do you want you want to do a takedown where you put him on the uh, the ground? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you have enough, like, you could even start trying to strangle him or use him as a hostage. Yes, strangle. Okay, so you go up and, like, you come around the door and, like, you come up and you just tackle this dude and start strangling him on the ground. Uh, make another grapple check real quick. All right, uh, 9, 12, and you said fighting, right? Or strength? Yeah. Uh, it's fighting. Fighting? Okay, so 9, 12, and fighting, so 14. Okay, you manage to, you do tackle him, so he's on the ground. Now make a, another grappling check. Okay. And this is to see how the strangle is on him. All right, seven plus two, and then two, so nine, eleven total. Okay, so you go to try choking him, and uh, he, it's your, your your weak belter hands don't manage to crush anything. <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually got like a twenty on that shit. He's like, he's got a neck of steel, dude. But I'm kind of like, but you are on top of him. You are holding him down, like ah, yeah. like you're, you know. Uh, and as you get on the other side of it, you can see that the door across the way from where they were has been opened up, and you can see there's like there's like a guard at that door who's like looking at you, and he's got he's got a rifle as well, ready to pop you okay. uh, during his next turn. Um, actually, which is actually now. Um, <laughs> oh, fun. So he's gonna take a shot at you as you're trying to grab as you're trying to choke this dude out. Uh, he goes and fires. Uh, he got a 13 to hit. Yeah, so my I think he got you there. Uh, yeah. Let me roll the damage. Uh-oh. Um, he, oh, oh, no. he deals uh, nine points of damage. So you can burn okay. your. How much fortune do you have? Two. Two. Okay, so you burn the two fortunes. That's seven damage left over. Uh, yeah. Go roll for the roll a d6 for the wound. Okay. Oh, fun. One. Six. Six. Okay, so you have one more point left over. You have to take the in, you have to take the injury. Okay. So roll a d6. So you get you get the one at least. So you t- you have, okay. you're not injured. So you have a minus two on every. You have a minus three on everything now. Like okay. all your checks have minus three. Okay. And you can't run, there. but you guys see like Onyx like is choking <laughs> this dude, and you guys actually see like a bullet like go right through his like upper chest um, as he's still choking this guy. Um, it's pretty it's pretty dramatic to watch. Uh, you don't know how the fuck he's still conscious. I rolled a three too. Hey, you're fine. You only need to roll yeah. one, so you're oh, okay because you rolled yeah, that six. Oh, um, Onyx oh is, what an yeah. idiot! <laughs> Onyx is, is trying to keep it real here, very like very very real. 
Um, okay. Uh, the other security, the security guy, you're you're the, the, you're choking out. He's gonna try to out grapple you. Make another grapple check. Okay. Oh, With, and don't get minus three check. on this. <laughs> trouble on this. All right. Okay. Minus three. So okay. So nine plus fighting. 11 minus 3. Yeah, yeah. He he actually, like, uh, as you guys said, you see the shots go through him, and, like, you see this guy, like, just throw uh, Onyx off of him back into the room. Uh, and the guy scrambles and grabs his gun, and, like, he's, like, he's like trying to get back in position uh, from being choked. Um, so uh, close. <laughs> all right, goes to Jackrabbit. So you're sitting oh, next man. to the pod. Yeah, she was about to, like, look in this. Like, if I'm looking in the pod, can I still take a shot off? Um, I'd let you do that. Yeah, if you want to like take a look in the pod real quick. Yeah, I, I, it would more be like a take a shot off and then look in okay, the pod. Okay, uh, give me the shot real quick. Uh, uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, you, uh, you, you pop your, you uh, pop your shot off. It hits, giving damage on the taser. Uh, let's see what you get for the taser here. Six. Six. Okay. Um. Yeah, the guy. Uh, It'd be the, the one by Onyx is the one I would yeah, be shooting at. Yeah, it's the only at. one you can actually see. Yeah. Uh, okay. Six damage, that's the three there. So yeah, you, your shot does like uh, clip him a little bit. Uh, the taser does like, it does kind of bolt into him, but he's, he seems to be holding on pretty well. Um, you go and take a look at like, you kind of like have to like kind of unfrost the glass a little bit, and you can see inside of it, it looks like a belter inside of it, and like it looks like they're like just sleeping. But the, but the glass is like ice cold. I take it I I can't like uh, at this point I can't be like no. hey no. okay do they look do they look like dead sleeping or like sleeping sleeping like you can't tell like you just look still okay because it's cold right okay yeah. uh, go to, so uh, she would just could she just yell like they got built is on ice for some reason <laughs> yeah you can't yell about built is on ice uh, Wyatt let's get you all right I'm going to how far am I from the rifle. Uh, I'd say you're at uh, about six meters. I mean, you can get there. Okay, the I'm going action. to fling the scientists off. Okay, you uh, toss them, you let go of the grapple, and they kind of like they're kind of like oh, freaking out. Yeah, I'm going to go straight to where I'm kind of like slide down in front and grab the rifle and like block any shots going towards Onyx. Okay, so you kind of come up and you're, you're sitting there and you have the Onyx rifle and like uh, Onyx is like uh, you kind of get on top of Onyx and you look through the door and you can see like the you can see at least th- uh, two of these guards. There's one in the door across the way and there's one right next to you. Um, they all have the rifles and stuff like that too, but they see you kind of doing this and like they're not like it doesn't look like they actually want to fight you. Like it looks like they're like they got something else going on based on your te- you not having a lot of tactics. They're just trying to keep you guys there. Okay, uh, goes to uh, Myrtle. All right, so this guy is still the the guy that was on Onyx. Oh, the, right? the, Onyx was on the guy. Let's be clear about that. Onyx yeah. was on yeah. the dude. I he was on the guy. He started choking the, the, the dude. Like it wasn't. <laughs> he was just like, I was trying to shoot you, and you're like, I'm gonna choke you out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I can still shoot him, right? Yeah, he's in the doorway. Yeah. Yeah, he's I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna shoot him. All right, you pop on our taser round. Yep. 16? 16, yeah, that hits no problem. Give me a damage on that. All right. Uh, four. Four damage, okay. The shot actually just like plinks off the uh, the cover. It like, it, like, it, like the, you can see the, the little, uh, where it just like hit the edge of the wall and just popped off. Did I get his attention? Oh yeah, I mean you didn't do it. He he's accepting that he's being fired at, but yeah. Okay. But, look, he's more concerned with Wyatt. He's right in front of him. All right. Anything else you want to do, Myrtle? You got a minor action still. Uh, no. I just want to okay. get in a better space where I can see what is happening outside. Okay. Uh, Wyatt, I need you to make a grapple check. Ten. Ten. Okay. You're you're sitting there, you get the rifle and you're looking at these guys and everything and get ready like to fire them up and all of a sudden that scientist you were wrestling with grabs you from the back and is like trying like 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 <laughs> fuck with you. Um they don't do anything to you, but they do grab you. They do have you grapple. Um yeah. Mateo is like like I think we gotta get out of here. This, 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 you grab whoever you can let's get out of here and he's like getting ready to like try to take a run for it or something. Um Pretty Onyx, good. it's your turn. <laughs> 
Where's he gonna run to? Um, so, okay. <laughs> um, I'm on the floor. Uh, Wyatt's got the rifle, right? Yeah, he's right in front of you, standing over. You're shot, bleeding pretty hard here. Okay, I will uh, take aim and fire at that guy. Okay. Give me a. Uh, you, you have the the penalty and you have the bonus. Go for it. Okay, yeah, so just just the uh, yeah plus minus one, the then. minus three yeah so minus three plus two aim. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I rolled a uh, four six and two, so eight. Okay, yeah, your shot goes wild. Like you, you hit like the like the you hit like right above Wyatt's head. Uh, oh Jesus! Um, but yeah, your, I lay your back. shot goes wild. I lay you back down. You're like, oh god! All right, the officers. Uh, Wyatt, you're standing there. Uh, all of a sudden, out of the room, two more of the officers like come running, or one more, another one of the officers comes running out. Um, and the one at the door follows suit, and they start running down the hallway. Uh, the one that's like right next to you is getting ready to shoot you. He looks and he sees them, and he like starts, he starts running away from them. Uh, he does fire a shot at you on the way out, though, but he's not running quite as fast. Um, but he's definitely on the way out. Uh, he got a twelve to hit. I think that gets you. Uh, yeah, my defense is twelve. Okay, so yeah, he he, he hits you with the rifle. Um, he got you for a whopping. Uh, what is that? Uh, 10, 12, 13 damage. All right, I'll burn some fortune. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys are pushing the luck here. Let me be clear. Yeah, we. Um, so he clips you and, he keep, and he's, like, he's moving away uh, it doesn't look like he's going to keep on trying to fire at you unless you pursue him um, but as they come up you can see when the door is further down the hallway uh, you see this woman come out wearing like uh, like a business suit and she seems to be going with them uh, towards the opposite direction where you guys came from okay um, goes to uh, Jackrabbit uh, there's no one at the door now like you don't how see many it. pods? How many of these pods are there? Uh, there's four. There's four pods, and this one that I looked in—that's not my friend. In no, there. you don't. You don't recognize. You can tell there's a belter. You can see some of the tattoos, and you can see some of like like the the skin issues and the bone issues. But like you don't you don't recognize the dude. Okay. Because I feel like I'm hearing the like we're gonna get out of here, and so uh, she's just like gonna scramble no. around. Right, you take a look at the next one. Her friend. You take a look at the next one, and uh, you you kind of like pull it up, and it, it is Titan. And he's got his eyes can closed, I, and he's just sitting there, and you recognize the guy for sure. Can I open this thing, or do I have to smash um, it? Looks it looks like it's like some sort of like locking like seal. Open? Uh, yeah. It's it's not just something you unclip and open. It has like a it looks like it has a uh, like a tie like a lock system on it, um, and you're not even sure if opening it would be safe for him. Oh, like it might kill him. Yeah. I, I would just call out to the doctor guy. If I open this, will my yeah. friend die? So. Um, as, you're, as you're saying this and stuff like that too, uh, Doctor Siri kind of like looks over and he's like, he's like, yeah, they're all they're all on ice, they're all frozen up. Uh, it's the procedure to op- to wake him up takes a takes about an hour. Uh, he's like, don't. He's like, if you open that, you'll kill him. And I just am like, start the procedure now. You he's like, he's about. like, yeah, yeah. He kind of gets up and he sees like, the shots and he kind of goes over and starts pushing at the buttons. Um, and he's like, yeah, I can, I can get it, I can get it open. Um, all right, so we'll, we'll break initiative here real quick. Um, as you guys stand there, uh, you, uh, Onyx, you kind of see like Anna kind of walking around, o- around and stuff like that. And you see her kind of like stare at, uh, above you, mm. and she's kind of looking at it. And she kind of looks at like the lights, and you guys can see the lights in the place are starting to kind of change a color. Like there's more of an orange color now to some of the lights, like above the doors and stuff like that. And she kind of looks at you and like kind of laughs, and she says, "That's it. It's over." What are you, you going to say, Onyx? Uh, what do you mean it's over? What are you talking about? Uh, We're getting out of here. Do you want to pursue them down the hallway, or do you want to let them go? I'm going to let them go. Okay. I'm not going to so break you, you see, you see the So you see Dr. Anna Bragham like, standing above uh, uh, above Onyx, and she says, that's it. Like It's over. And what did you, what did you ask, Onyx? Uh, what are you talking about? It's over. We're getting out of here. He's like, there's no more. There's... You've you've come and you've disrupted the work. That's this is it. It's over. There there's no there's not going to be anything left of us in a, in a, in a few minutes. Um, Wait, what? We, got, we got to get out of here. I, I get the feeling that they're self-destructing this asteroid, and I'm just sort of screaming, to everybody. Yeah, and Doctor Siri kind of looks around and he's like looking at the light. He's like, oh shit, they did. I didn't think they would do it. And he's like, they did. They did self-destruct. 
Hey, Jack, I, I think we're going to have to go. How heavy is that pod that he's in? Is it something mean, we... In this gravity, probably like... The, the problem would be bring it down the shaft. If you guys were going to go that route. Can we just go out course. the docks? Uh, you want to try to go through the security officers? Um, yeah. gotcha. And then our ship is on the... Yeah, your yeah. ship's on the other yeah. side of the, of the thing, too. Unless you want to try to radio Abby and tell her to bring it around, you can try. Well, we gotta Let's... save these belters. We can't let them die on ice. Shoot the door! Shoot the door, Abby! Alright, so as door. you guys... As you guys, uh... You kind of stand there, Anna's kind of looking around... And just seems to like kind of like accept this. The rest of the scientists don't seem perturbed. What they kind of start looking around a little bit once in a while, but they kind of seem more into their work. Um, Mateo, go, he goes, he kind of stands up and he's like, "Yeah, he's like, they're all, they've all been subjected to uh, transcranial magnetic hyperstimulation. You're not going to get them to do anything else." Was that one? Right, I don't know what that means, but we got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, knock, knock this doctor out, and we'll take her. Well, okay. she's part of the reward. All right. So it sounds to me like here's here's what's going on. Is that you guys are going to try to go back to the shafts. You're going to try to knock out Anna to bring her with you guys. Or how many... I would try to get the scientists to come with you somehow. But they all seem obsessed with their work. Um, what so are, are the... Are the... Are, Oh, I guess we wouldn't know this. I was going to say, are the guards like evacuating too, or are they still like in the hallway? It looks like they were running the opposite direction you guys came from. Like they're they're bailing, and they they, they like, had someone uh, why they had someone that kind of looked important with them. Like logistically, are we on the same level where the door is where we were trying to get in the first time when we just you tried to knock? So. You think so? Yeah, you're pretty sure you are. We should get Abby Abby to bring the ship around. Yeah. Because okay. that's how we're going to save everything. So it sounds like you guys are going to put a call on Abby, see if she can get the ship around before the, the place is going to blow. Um, and Mateo, Mateo kind of stands up. He's like, he's like, yeah, let's let's get out of here. We got to get out of here. Uh, if you want to go through the docks, we can do that. Otherwise, however the hell you guys got in here, we can try that route too. But yeah, if right. we have the feeling that it's going to be easier to go out the docks, we should go out the docks. Okay. All right. Great. So I'll grab some pa- patches and med supplies and start uh, putting them all oh, over Oh no, my body. that's not how that works in this game at all. There's no healing <laughs> potions, dude. There's no healing potions. Uh, all right, so let me kind of paint the scene before we end here tonight. And thank you everybody for watching. Uh, we went over a little over time that we usually do. Uh, yeah, the scientists. A lot of scientists are still working. Anna seems to kind of be able to be distracted a little bit more than everybody else. Mateo seems just fine. Uh, you don't recognize any issues with him. Uh, the pod, there's several, there's four pods with frozen belters inside of it. Um, the guards have seemed to like getting ready to evacuate with someone important. You have no idea who. And you do know there's another ship on the on the docks as well right now that was in a sealed dock. Um, you guys can certainly radio, you radio up Abby and tell her to go and start the docking procedure, which isn't very hard. It's, it's pretty automated. You can, almost anybody can do it. Um, that's where you stand. And let's see if you guys can get off of uh, 532 Herculina before. Uh, Whatever happens, happens. All right. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, we have a we have our giveaway to do here. Turn, baby, go pull, turn. Pull a name. Give away. If I can give get three away. more, if we get three more subs, I got a second one to give away. Oh, and the churn went up to twenty four. Oh. So you guys are you guys are pushing the luck here hard. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and pull the first name real quick for the giveaway. Uh. Where I go here? Let me get that real quick, and I'm going to hit one. And I have AKR71 is the winner of the Game Master uh, bundle. Oh, those are we hit our number two. Very cool. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I will do another one, which in this case will be for the player bundle, and I will get that to you guys after the stream here. I'll message you directly. Uh, let me do that. Nice. And, okay, hit roll again. Oops. Uh. Oh, uh, okay. I do this. Oops. Ah, okay. uh, apparently I can't give it away again. That's really awkward. Um, let me know who, who's ever in the room real quick here and do it. Um, all right, here we go. We'll go, uh, Elder Blom, you, you got it. Nice. You got it. Um... You got that. So I'll give you. I'll give you guys some messages here a little bit, and figure that out. I gotta figure out how the giveaways work with multiple people because apparently I can't just hit the same thing over and over again. That's awkward. Um, <laughs> but all right. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for, for watching. Uh, Thanks, everybody. Please, uh, please uh, 
give us a follow. we got another episode next week. We'll see what happens on here on 532 Herculina. Uh, you can also check us out on Patreon where you can check out the bonus episodes. We actually have an episode with uh, Jackrabbit, their kind of origin story. Uh, you can uh, and please follow us on social media everywhere you can. Uh, there's our information for the Patreon. You can go check that out. Uh, this episode will be up on YouTube next week. Uh, I believe episode two just debuted on YouTube as well, so you can go catch up uh, and the like. But thank you so much, everybody. It was had a good time. That was a very stressful session, I'm sure. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. We'll see you guys. I don't next know week. if your belters are gonna make it out alive. That's what it feels hey, like. Man, you guys, you guys, you guys took the extra fortune, so it's, uh, hopefully it's paying off. Oh yeah. Yep. I, I know that for sure. All right. It's good seeing everybody. Take it easy.